Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Sunday's live stream. It's 8.30 in the UK. It is 3.30 over where our guest is in the US of A. I hope you're all well. I hope you're all fine. I hope you're all safe. Today is sadly going to be the final stream of season one of the Bullet of Magpie and Bullet Live, if that's what we're going to call it. Um, it's been a great run. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It's been good. It's been getting uh, my channel, Peace channel, Rob's channel, and all our guest channels out there to people who might follow me, might follow them, and just getting everybody involved together. So I've been very proud of what we've achieved. Um, but yes, <clears throat> season one will end tonight. So I very much appreciate everybody who's tuned in, who's watched, who's basically been well, the stars of the show you are because you've joined us. Um, so yes, so we will be back in August. Uh, there will be a special comeback in August, date to be confirmed. So I'll bring in our regular, well, my regular, although he's not very regular, and that is, of course, Pete. There he is. Good evening. <laughs> so it is quite tearful that this is going to be possibly for the time being or last Sunday, but we all need to have a break. And if it's too much of a good thing, it'll just burn out. Well, I was, I was at the end of my teller looking at you anyway, so, you know. <laughs> yeah, you, you've got to look at me in person in uh, a couple of months, son. Oh, yeah, so, you're going to get a hug off me, boy. You're going to get a big oh. hug. Oh, God. Wait for that. So, yes, yeah, so tonight's stream, uh, we have, obviously, myself, we have Pete. Uh, joining us as well is Tony. Tony's from Tony's Movies and More, the channel. Um, I want to get as many people, if nobody subscribed to Tony's channel, please do so. He goes out and he does all his Blu-ray hunting and he does his collections and stuff like that. Um, so I should bring Tony in and here he is. Tony, Hello. welcome hey, to the live stream here in the UK, being our fourth American who has graced the stream, which I'm very, very happy that we can go international. So, of course, we've had the Durant, we've had the Fat Samurai Guy, we've had Movies in Sue, and we are ending our season one with you. So I'm very happy that you managed to come on. I'm very happy when I messaged you, you said that you'd come on. So Thank you for having me. No, I'm very right. jealous of that poster. That's a really cool poster behind you. Oh, thanks. Yeah, uh, Black Widow. I love her. There's something nice about that. Yeah. <laughs> so you've been able to watch, I mean, obviously, I know it's only like 25 before. For where you are, Tony. But what's how what yeah. you been up to today? Anything? No, not really. Not too much. Just been hanging around. I went to Target earlier. Just normal, Anything boring stuff. Good. Nah, Sorry. nah, nothing good there. So the question on both yes. mine and Pete's lips is: Is that uh, Arnie Steelbook still available? It is. They had a bunch of those actually. Oh. The amount of people who are wetting themselves to get that over here. They really are. Everyone wants that. Yeah, I, I think uh, me and Pete might have to save up some money and go, can either you, Sue, Dave, whoever, and go, just grab a load of them, just send them in the post, we'll pay for postage, and we'll get them on an extra stream and go, oh, we've got these. But we probably won't have multi-region Blu-ray players, so they probably won't work anyway. But I, need a idea. I, I think by the time we get them, though, Dave, Mr. Durant will probably have about five. I think he already has five, honestly. <laughs> of course he does. Of course he does. Unbelievable. Right, so well, shall we see who's in? Um, so as everybody's probably aware or not aware, I, I'm i doing it different today. I did it with the thing with Rob during the midweek. I might have done it last week, can't remember, where I'm streaming the picture through my phone. Um, but at the same time, actually, let me turn that brightness up on my ring light. But I don't know where it is. There it is. Um, but I'm actually, is that it? There we go. Um, but I'm actually doing all the messages through my laptop. So we shall see who is in here. So, um, yes, I'll just put this up quickly. I put it in before. Uh, our friend, Jamie Powell, uh, who's in our kind of UK community, excuse me, is an amazing guy. He does the funniest vlogs, funniest reviews. He's just a funny guy and he's got no hair. So we love him for that. Um, but yeah, he's he to his channel actually. Today? Yes, today. Good man. Is that after I put stuff on Instagram? Did you go, oh, I'll do that yeah. poll? Oh, yes. Good man. That's awesome. Yeah. So I'm just putting it out there again. If not, anybody's watching this, you know, there's 19, 20 people watching. If you want to sub to Jamie's channel, please do so. Um, his link is down below. So as is, before I go, Tony's channel is subscribed to him. His link is mm -hmm. in the channel below as well. 
so please do so. Uh, so we have, I hate using the word regular because it sounds like some kind of brothel, but we have our regular Scott who's in the house. So hello, Scott. Hello. Uh, we also have Last Hand, Last Chance Shares. And we have your brother from another mother is in here as well, Tony. Hey, Vander. He's here. Uh, we also have Jason Brett. Oh, oh Jace, should I say. Um, Alan's in. Oh, Alan's in. You're not normally in this early, Alan, so thanks very much. Um, there's seasons, so there will be a season two. Yes, Alan. I don't know Can I just say know. something? Come here. I'm up to 25. On what? That's why I'm keeping my premiers now. I mean your premiums? Yeah. What did I say? Premiers. Premium, premier, same thing. Tomato, tomato, same thing. Um, yes, we're going to be a season two. I just thought I'd make it up. Instead of just going to stop them going on a break, I just thought, you know what, we'll do the live streams, we'll stop them, and then we'll go on to another one after that, call them seasons. We're doing a big meet-up for, for the start of season two in Birmingham. Cause we, that's like four hours away from where we live, but we're all staying in hotels overnight and doing hunt and doing a hunt the next day. So it's going to be crazy all of us getting together. We're going to... Well, I'll say we're not going to ruin Birmingham, but it's a bit of a shithole anyway, so you won't notice the difference. Although, if anybody's watching this and lives in Birmingham and loves Birmingham, and it's not that much of a shit all. That's, that, that's purely pizza. I've never been there before, to be honest. So It is, and I back up my statement as well. I'll take on anyone in Birmingham. Okay. So, we're only about seven minutes in the stream, and Pete's already wanted to be in people. So, yes. Welcome to that, Tony. You'll be more of that to come. Um, we have a big fan of Nintendo games. Hello, Magpie Man. Good evening. Looking forward to this. I was on Jason's stream. That's fine. Thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, Pete here as well. Uh, another Pete. Hi, Paul and Pete. How are you doing? Um, Hello. Here we go. He's Jamie himself, the man of the moment. Uh, hope you're doing well. Any pickups for next week? So I'm going to go straight to Tony with this because he's our guest. So you'll be going to, to like, Target and Best Buy because obviously in the UK it's Monday releases in the US. Tuesday, what's coming out for you yes. guys? I think just Willy Wonka on 4K. Other than that, there's not really anything major coming out that I'm aware of. Is Best Buy a Target going to have enough? Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's it. Yep. Best okay. Buy, Target, Amazon. Have they got different steel covers, or are they all going to be the same one? I don't know if there is a steel book, actually. I know there's a regular slip cover. Oh, that's a steel there. book. I don't know if we're getting that or not. Maybe Best Buy? Normally Best Buy is one, because they did Godzilla, didn't they? Yes, they did. And has that arrived anywhere yet to be seen in the wild? September, isn't it? No, that's not, not our just stores. Hmm. No, yeah. just online as far as I know. I don't think the stores, at least in my area, have any yet. Right. Oh, well. It'll be I there. Mean, you guys are getting a really nice, like, Snyder cut set as well from, uh, like, like, it's not, um, what am I thinking? DC Trilogy, Jack Snyder Trilogy. Yes. Yeah, you're getting a cool trip. Yeah, I saw that. I want to get that. That looks cool. Yeah, I do like the look of that. You get, you what definitely get more still decent sets than we do. Over, we get treated like shit over here. I mean, <laughs> Germany, get, Germany gets all the good stuff. We don't get hardly anything good. Huh, really? You, you, it's obviously, Pete, obviously you're, is, is there anything else coming out on Monday that you're looking to pick up? I mean, sorry, Tuesday, Tony, then? Or is it just you could go out and look at that really one? Well. Just that one, yeah. There's nothing really else. Nothing major. Uh, I mean, I've always heard that General's Daughter with Travolta is supposed to be good. That's out. But I'm, I've never actually seen it. I've heard, I've heard good things, but it's a bit of an oldie. I haven't the general. seen that one. Mm -hmm. yeah. General's Daughter? you got a lot of Mae West stuff coming out as well. <laughs> I don't know why. But... I think the only thing that I'm getting next week is something that I ordered just two seconds before I came on. Um, which is I'm going to get a tripod stand because the, the ring light stand I've got at the minute is just like this big where I want to get a tripod. So if I'm doing any unboxings, I can stand it up and I can lean it over a table to get that kind of thing, which I can't really do with that because it just falls over. Um, and I ordered Greenland 4K from Amazon as well because that's not even out Blu-ray here. I was like 14.99, so I've ordered that in the ring light, so that should be coming next week. But of, of the, any of the new releases, no, I'm not getting. There's nothing for me to get next week. Uh, yeah, France, anyway. had, France had that Greenland for about two and a half months. I know, but I don't I don't know pick it up. Have you got that in 4K over there? Just blurry then, Tony. Green Lantern, the Ryan Reynolds one. No, Greenland, the Greenland. one with. Um, oh, Greenland. Um, yeah. Yes, we've had that for a while. 
On 4K as well? I believe so. Because it doesn't even have a Blu-ray release over here. Has it, has it got a DVD oh. one, Pete? Pete. Huh? Has it got Do a I... DVD release over here, Greenland? No, it's not just it's not out here yet. All right, okay. See, again, screwed. That's the annoying part about it. Uh, big fan of town games is up to Jamie. He's a lovely guy. He is. Uh, there we go. Uh, do, 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 do. What time we go through, buddy? Thank you. Uh, I've got everybody. That's what I like. Because I, I like to get American channels, which aren't, aren't well known over here. Because obviously I've known, got to know you, as in the channel, through Dave, and through Sue, and through Amanda, and obviously mm. vice versa. And that's that's what's all it's all about. That's what I like doing on these to get everybody out and about. Uh, sub to Tony and bullet luck. So there you go. <laughs> bullet Thank block. you very much. <laughs> Love it. Um, uh, here we go. What's your favorite shop or online shop to get Blu-rays? So obviously Tony, you're different to us. So do you get much ordered online as well, or just do it in, like face to face? Um. I do more in store, but I'll go through Amazon usually uh, if I want to do something online. They have the most reliable uh, delivery services over here. The Greenland's not even listed over here. It's not even listed for a release. No release that at all. I don't. I, I, I just don't get some releases why they're not just universal. You know, I could probably understand Justice League not getting an American release until a while back because of HBO Max. But at the same time. Why not just wait for it so it's like worldwide release date? Because at the end of the day, people in America, if they've got the money, they'll, they'll just import it from Amazon UK. Mm. So I, I really don't. But then probably it's all about politics and making money in it. If they get it over in France, that gets more business coming from them and US and UK or whatever. It could be all the way down to that. I don't know. We can get it from Germany 4K. It's only about 16 euros. So that's not too bad. Well, that's what, that's what I ordered mine off Amazon UK, but I think it was it's a German one. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And if anybody, I mean, I know not in this kind of am, um, in the Euros over here for the soccer, for the football, Belgium have just scored to go 1 0 up over Portugal, just so you know. Carry on. Uh, so, anyway, yeah, Tony, back to you. So, how long have you been doing Channel 4 now then? Not that long, maybe a couple months. So, so what, what prompted you to start it? Was it the pandemic? Was it the lockdown? Or was it something you've been thinking about doing? And, and that's kind of prompted you to do it? Or was it just, I'm just going to do this? No, something I was thinking of doing for a while. And then um, just the pandemic and the lockdown kind of pushed it. And then um, obviously Sue and Dave were kind of a big push to get started. And just from there. So do you, do you meet them much? Or is it just randomly that you bump into them? Um, pretty much right. I mean, we've met before, but, um, I bumped into Dave randomly the other day at Best Buy or last week. Um, Susan, I don't really bump into. She's about a state away from me. She's about an hour away. So that was that you, gone thinking you, you picked up a quite cool film and he wanted it and you won't give it to him. So that was Susan, I think. Ah. No, no, hang on. You're, you're right. No, I think in your last video when you didn't film it. You you went and you got the guy from the back to get you something, didn't you? Oh yeah, 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 that one, yeah. The um, Sicario still book, yeah, that was. That was it. That's beautiful. That was. Because you've got two different nice, options, yeah, haven't nice you? Because you've got that one. Because and Target, target best, yeah. mm. but you've got different ones. Because one's got like the the tattoo kind of image. Yeah. And the other one's got Emily Blunt and the, the actors on it. But one's only yeah, Blu-ray, one and four K. Yeah, the Best Buy is four K and the um, Target is Blu-ray. I would have gone for the one with Blunt and just put the 4K in it, I think. No, I got both. I got of course both. you would have. <laughs> well, he's like, Pete, Pete gets both as well. Um, and what else we have we got in here? Here we go. General's Daughter is a very good movie, Pete, from Kermit. I just subbed to your channel, by the way, Tony. I, I thought I already had. I just checked and I hadn't, so my apologies for that. That's no problem. Thank you very much. You're at 192 now. Okay, let's see if we can get Tony to... Uh, it's getting past 200 people. Come on now. Yeah. Tony's moving them all. Get him on there. Come on. Exactly. Uh, Rob's in here. but uh, Rob's normally on the stream as well, Tony, but he's now having to to work as well on Sunday, so he can't really make it. He might come in later on, but he, he kind of 
tunes in now and again, drops messages and everything. And, yeah, and like he streams that. from his yeah. car while he's driving, which is really funny. <laughs> you know you're going to see a live crash or something. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Evander's actually come and said he's saving himself all the Mortal Kombat releases, so I'm avoiding a lot of stuff. Yeah, I've got the Amazon, well, over here, it's Amazon exclusive Mortal Kombat Steelbook 4K on pre order. Um, 2nd of July, I think, over here, Peter, is that right? Yes, next week. Yeah, next week. Um, and the um, Fast and Furious Nine uh, still books uh, Amazon exclusive as well. Yeah, I don't think anyone's going to be buying that. Let's be honest. I haven't even seen yeah, the film. I've really got, 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 got choice. I've got, I've got all the others are still books. I've got to get it. We've been seeing it. The F Nine, then Tony. I saw it like yesterday. And your honest opinion is? It was a shit show. It was. <laughs> it was. It was. Yeah, it was bad. Even for that, even for that franchise, it was just ridiculous. It's getting so many. I mean, like I said, I've only seen the first one. The first one I saw just after it came out of theaters when you could rent it or buy it or whatever. And I've never been interested in it. I, never, I mean, it could be like me being blind and what's the word I'm looking for? I can't remember. But like, because I'm interested in cars or racing or anything like that or F1 or Grand Prix, it, it does nothing for me. So I've just kind of like took a sidestep to it. Uh, but I can see the franchise building, 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 building. Um, they must when they made this F9, they must have done like when they finished editing it and did post production. They must have looked at it and went, they, they couldn't have seriously said, Yeah, we're going, this is going to get rave reviews. They, they must have thought, Ah, this is going to be awful. They, they, don't care. They, just, they just want the money. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Well, once seven made over a billion, you knew it was fucked. You just knew it. They were going to chuck anything out for the next couple. Because there's two more to come and another Hobbs and Shaw, isn't there? Apparently. Well, well I, ten. Yeah, I reckon they'll stop at ten now. Oh. There's no way this is going to make the money up. This one. Well, I don't know. Like, a lot of people I've seen on social media saying I'm going to go and see it this weekend. So, I think quite a few people will be going out to watch it. I mean, not me, obviously. I think it made. I think it made like thirty million on Friday here alone. So it should be doing pretty well here. I think it could be the fact that people just want to see it to see how bad it is. Yeah, yeah. Black Widow like for a hundred million plus opening weekend, so you know, I can't wait to watch that one. Maybe when is Black Widow actually out now? July 9th here. Yeah, it's on stream in July 9th, but then they charge us sixteen ninety nine to watch it on stream. Of I'm course, like, I would I would never do that. I was like, well, I'll just wait for it. To come. It's out September, I think, on um, physical. Is it? So I'll just wait for that. Yeah, I'll just wait for that. Oh, yeah. We get it in theaters and uh, Disney Plus on July 9th, but we have to pay the thirty extra bucks on Disney Plus if we want it that way. Yeah, I'll, I'll, if I'm paying sixteen, eighteen quid for something, I want it physical. I ain't gonna do nothing like that digital. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't want people, people want to see it. I would just wait to go to the pictures or theaters to see it, or wait to buy it, or wait to That's get it another way to watch oh. it and then just pre-order it. Have you seen Raya and the Last Dragon? Yes, I have. When it came out over here, physical, literally four, within four days of it coming out, then they said, oh, by the way, in three days, it's on Disney+. Plus." So they waited for everyone to go out from day one and buy it. On, on buy it yeah. And then it come free, free less than a week later. <laughs> Take the piss. Yeah. Well, That's Disney, though. Still <laughs> admit, it's exactly, man. That's why they buy more Marvel. That's why they bought everything else. They're just Disney's just a... It's gone from a guy with a dream... This multi-billion-dollar company, mm. um, you know, they are the number one streaming service. But no, I say Netflix are catching up with them. You know, got the, more or less the number one theme park, number one production studios now. You know, it's just they are kind of harsh. I mean, they bought Blue Sky and shut it down just because it was a competitor. That's a bit harsh because they do good stuff. They always say ages and all that, didn't they? Yeah, they did. They they bought it and shut it down. Yeah, that's, that's harsh. But it is a business that was it they're just gonna well it's a business isn't it? anyway going back to the question that van has asked um mortal Kombat. so it's out here um, so yeah a week on monday then pete no no next week yeah next you're week. right when is when is this when is this second it's, um i think it's, it's out out friday that's this week yeah, that's friday yeah so i'm i am actually away next week so i'm glad it's not next week so i'll be able to watch it and put it on i'll tell you what actually on, on a kind of a different matter I've had Godzilla versus Kong 
since I pre-ordered it and I've got the steel book and all that. But I'm not kind of bragging that I've got the steel book because I know you guys are. But I haven't actually watched the 4K. I've seen the film, but I didn't put it on. So today, I just thought I'll randomly chuck the the disc on just to see what it looks like in 4K. And I just got to this bit when Mechagodzilla gets brought to life and started on and Godzilla. The picture quality is really good. I didn't think. Yeah, no, that's that's a good looking disc. Yeah. It's when it, it cut to um, Millie, Bobby, Millie Bobby Brown when she's in the rumble, rubble, sorry. And the clarity on her face, I was, I, I, I wish I had Dolby Atmosphere to speak this so then I could just turn the crank the woofer up. But I was, yeah, because everyone goes on about it's a great disc, it's a great sound. Obviously, I hadn't put it on, so I thought, oh, I'll give it a go. And uh, yeah, very impressed with the disc. Very impressed. So there you go. Have, right. you, put it, have you put it on? Um, I, 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 went, I, went, I watched my pirated copy first, and it was all right, but I've now bought it as a hard copy, and it's, it's yeah, it looks all right. I mean, I'll, I'll probably get it 4K as well, and then that's when I'll really sit down and turn it right up. And so which copy have you got of it now? Just the one that Rob gave you? No, I got blue. I got it on Blu-ray as well now. Okay, but you didn't buy the 4K. No, because um. I didn't want to pay full price for it. I mean, it's down to twenty-two already, so I'll wait till it's about eighteen, then I'll, I'll pick it up. I'll pick it up cheap. It'll be in the two for. Like, we've got like in H and V over here. Twenty will have like two for thirty. That's why I'm waiting for Godzilla in twenty fourteen to come down into that, so I can just get that for like fifteen quid or something like that. I've already got them anyway. But, uh, yes. So I have there you go. Uh, what else we got? Uh, oh, uh, James Millerships here. Hiya, James. Hello. Nice to have you here. Uh, yeah, we have these quiz evenings, and he's the one who does all of the questions and makes and embarrasses us and makes us look like idiots. Yeah. <laughs> so, like sometimes on a stream like this, I will get like three other people, and I bring James in, and I go right, fire the questions, and he fires the questions out. And as we're all film buffs, we're, we're made to realise that we aren't film buffs because we know <laughs> nothing. <Jack shit. laughs> yeah. So, out of like fifty questions, we ended up with getting scores of like 10, 15, 18 things like that when you think oh, i'm gonna breeze this and we didn't so yes um scott's book greenland is a Amazon prime movie here in the uk so no blu-ray yep you're right yep it's the same as um what's it that remorse one with uh, michael b jordan without remorse that's on mm -hmm. there and then that new one um the ice road with liam neeson in a kind of non-taken role which looks quite good so I, I do fancy watching that but the thing is when i go to bed on the night when i want to watch it I'm up here. Um, oh, hang on a minute. I've just noticed something, you know. What have you noticed? Durant's in the yeah. Hey, hello. Mr. Durant is in the stream. Hello, sir. You look like he was having fun at the old Universal Studios, wasn't he? Yeah, he seemed that he had a good time down and good flow rider, but. Uh, it's good. Yes, it's good to have you on, Dave. I mean, I know you might be fleeting in and out and all that, but because um, you just got back from from your break, so I'm glad you had a good time. You looked like you did with your mate down there. So, yeah, we're on my bump to Tony on Tuesday. Who knows? Stranger than fear. And they'll uh, get the good stuff before you do. Yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> forgotten where the movies just tuned in. Hello, thank you very much. Um, you can get green and blue from France. There isn't four subtitles either. Excellent picture quality. Yeah, that's why I'm getting it. Uh, to be honest with you, Alan, is because I've heard that. The 4K picture is pretty damn good, um, as well as lots of normal blue. Here we go. Just watched Monster Squad. Yeah. Really fun film. And it's a, Monster Squad is awesome. I go on about it a lot on this channel, as well as Gladiator. But Monster Squad, to me, is the quintessential kids movie from the 80s. Not Goonies. I know Goonies is all I right. The, but I, don't like, I don't like the Goonies. You're not alone there. I'm not a big Goonies person. Oh, Do no. you like the Monster Squad, though? Feel... <laughs> huh? You like Monster Squad? No, yes, I like Monster Squad. It is, yeah. I think Monster Squad is, is one of those classics that's it's kind of forgotten about and, uh, until people kind of... I'm hoping, uh, uh, you know, with all these boutique labels like Arrow and 8, that somebody picks it up because the, obviously they're doing the 4K or whatever of um, Dog Soldiers, which should come out at some point this year. Hopefully by Christmas, if they get the stuff um, all sorted. But yeah, Monster Squad. So I'm so happy that somebody else has watched Monster Squad. I'm very happy with that. So thank you for that. Uh, hi, guys. How are you? How's it going, lads? How's your day today going? Yeah, uh, 
they're all good. Um, I've just been watching movies all day. Well. That's what I've been doing. I've been. What have I been doing? Oh, looking after the kids. I forgot about that. Yes, life doesn't get any better than that. Uh, Fun enough. Going on that question. Has anybody watched Ice Road? I haven't watched it yet. Have you two guys watched it yet? You not heard no, of it? No, I haven't heard of that. So it's basically, if I get this right, it's obviously like Ice Road Truckers, like the show, um, but there's been some kind of mine or something's caved in and they have to get this bit of equipment from A to B in Canada across all the frozen land. So Liam Neeson and Lawrence Fishburne are the drivers who volunteer to drive across there, but on the way there, they get attacked or something like that, or it's been sabotaged or something. I believe, I could be wrong. So if anybody's seen it, and, but yeah, but it looks all right. And for a new movie, which is going to be technically free on Prime, even though you kind of pay for Prime, um, I might give it a go. It's, it's something I to watch this. But what I'm saying is no one I call here to watch it on an item, but because it's UHD and the 4K, I want to watch it downstairs. I've got so many things downstairs to watch. I have, what I do with an item, I look up here and I go, oh, I'll take a 4K down to watch. So at the minute, there's a pilot. So there's Godzilla vs. Kong. There's 13 hours, which I want to watch again. Uh, and there's Battle Royale 4K, which I want to watch again. They're all there. On oh, Sherlock Holmes 2, Game of Shadows is there, which I've started watching, but I need to finish. But then I get to time when the wife goes, I'm going to bed. I'm like, oh, I'm just going to go up and put the telly on here. That's it. That's how interesting my life is, guys. Thanks, everybody, for watching that. It doesn't get any better than that. Yes. So, yes, quickly move on before I bore you all my life. Uh, uh, oh, Kermit, Alan's seen it. He's, with that guard to the ice road. A few Georgie CGI moments. Oh, okay. Uh, Martin McBurney's here. Hi, guys. Hello. F9 is on 70 million box office so far. Obviously, that must, might be UK as opposed to dollars, but I could be wrong. No, I mean uh, UK. Ice road is better than I thought it would be. Um, we will be getting Black Radio and Cinemas and Disney Plus on 30th of July. There you go. Have you picked up any HMV premiums? Now, obviously, Tony, you won't be involved no. in this, unfortunately. <laughs> but obviously, over here, as you know, because you watched all the Vanda stuff as well, HMV premiums are titles which are a bit like Arrow, they get like a release that comes out, but at the minute, the two for okay. £15, or what could be like two for $30 or two for 25 bucks, it might be or something like that, whereas they normally be about. 15 to 20 pound or bucks each so it's like buy one get one free kind of thing um there's a few in there that i want to get but nothing i'm going to rush out to whereas whereas him over here he wants to try and get the whole lot don't you well i picked up 12 this week how many 12 12 okay yes yeah, so I, I had 13 already now i've got 25 so okay. double inspection in one day and don't forget if any of those come with digital codes you know what to send them yeah, I've already got some digital codes waiting for you, mate. Okay, that's good. Awesome. Those are American ones as well, so. Oh, even better. I love that. Um, yeah, but with regards to the premiums, I mean, there's only a few I want to get. Like, Casablanca is one of them. Scanner Darkly, which I think is an underrated good, an underrated movie. Got it. Um, Casual Years of War. Got it. Um, Scarface, the original. Got it. All right. <laughs> It's not, a, it's not a bingo, son. Bingo! Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> and obviously, Dave's there. Uh, what's this? What's your favourite Batman actor? There we go, then, Tony. There's a question for you. Ooh, um, probably Christian Bale. But it varies. Michael Keaton's great, too, so... I think your Batmans are very similar to your Bonds. I think it's whoever you're initially brought up with is the ones that you kind of gravitate to. So for me, I mean, I love Christian Bale in The Dark Knight, but I, the first proper Batman I saw, other than Adam West, but movie-wise, would have been Michael Keaton. So I, I, if it was for my personal choice, I would say Michael Keaton. But I do like Bale, and I do like Adam West. Um, and obviously, Batfleck wasn't too bad. Uh, what about you? I actually you? liked Ben Affleck. I feel like yeah, he was, he was an older, grittier Batman, wasn't he? Yeah. I like the way Patterson's taking the new one. It seems a bit more panicky, you know, a bit more fisticuff style. A bit yeah. of brutality behind it. So I'm, uh, I'll, give, I'll give it its due. I'll, you know, I won't slag off until we've seen it, you know, if, it, if they do terrible things with it. But it's looking all right. Yeah, it looks like a very gritty one, the new one. And it also, when you look at his costume, it looks very homemade so it could be a very 
him just becoming Batman as opposed to having Lucius Fox and like we've got the other ones building and giving him a suit and everything. It's surreal um, for us because you're, you're watching them film it around Glasgow and stuff, aren't you? It's like they're filming all the yeah. aren't they? Which is kind of weird. Everything seems to be filmed over here, you know, and up next to my parents, obviously Harrison Ford was filming Indy 5, and then you've got in Liverpool and Glasgow, have had like World War Z or World War Z or um, the Batman has been there as well. But yeah, it's it's quite good, a lot of stuff. And then even, I remember Transformers, the last night, some of the car scenes were filmed going through the centre of Newcastle. Mm. Um, Solo, Solo was uh, filmed uh, Fawley, which is just across the water from me. Because they were, they were tearing apart the old power station boss of me and they were filming some of the solo scenes in there. And same with Rogue One cool. in the London Underground, wasn't it? Yeah. As you got had Patriot stay around the road from you than Tony's, aren't we? Yes, um, some of it. I used to live in um, Watertown where they actually found one of the um, bombers. So I know the movie was filmed. Some parts of it were filmed there too. So it was, that was cool. So were you still living there when, when this happened? Or are you, was that a while ago? Yeah, I was still there when it was actually happening, yeah. All right. So, so you, you were in, was it in the neighborhood, not like your street where, where he was? No, no, not my street. So, it was um, it was a neighborhood um, not too far from where where I lived, though. And I um, worked at Target at the time, and they were still wanting me to come into work. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, so, so when that obviously when it happened, because I'm going off and films here, because I've never obviously spoken to somebody who's been in a kind of historic episode, really, is what it's mm. called, or class it has been. You know, would it be because I know you're not in New York, you're in the kind of Boston kind of area. It, was it a similar feeling to 9/11, or is it, did it feel more local and more personal? Um, it was probably more personal. I mean, they just they locked us all down. They told us to stay in our houses, not to go anywhere. Um, Apart from work, who obviously okay. wanted you to go in. Yeah, because, you know, Target's an essential job, apparently, so... You know. yeah, well, exactly, yeah. You've got to sell Blu-rays to uh, bombers, haven't you? So it has to stay open. <laughs> I mean, the, the, the place I worked, they were using the parking lot as a police headquarters station, so... I mean, there were there were people inside the building because they were doing inventory that night that it actually happened, so they were all kind of, like, stuck in the building for most of the day until they were able to go home. So they actually got locked down at work? I didn't, but there were people there. Uh, my boss had actually asked me to come in, but I told her no. So luckily, because can you imagine that when you get to the end of your shift, you just want to go home and you can't, you got to stay there all it's night no... and most of the next day. Yeah, I mean, does Target have like best day in case you want to lie down to the cell? They don't. <laughs> no. Okay. So you couldn't even. Oh, that that would be. I bet the bosses were like, "Well, we can restack every shelf now. We've got loads of time on hands." Let's go check all the prices. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Uh, oh, we've got here then. Um, ice Road is better. I thought it would be. It's Fast and Furious on Ice. Not quite. It's peak Hollywood drama. Well, if it's Fast and Furious on Ice, I might give it a go. Uh, Jimmy's asking Dave how it's going. And he said he's doing good. Oh, everyone's, oh, everyone's in love with Dave. So, Dave, you're in watching this. Get off it because everyone's coming for you. Oh. Uh, oh, here we go. I went to two almost today, tracking down an Iron Man doll. Was that Did an you Iron find Man that doll? Turbo Man doll, Dave? It was going to be two. No, it was a saw, Turbo Man. Yeah, I think because I saw what movie one went into his late at night and he picked up two. Um, because apparently they're going to, they're like in and out, aren't they? Like sold out. I think so. I'm sure he, Dave, will, Dave will have that. Dave will have that and then probably send it off to California to get signed by Arnie and have it framed and the shrine with candles around or something. I don't know. I'm sure Dave will say Paulie being a dick. I'll be like, okay. Um, oh, Dave's here. Good evening. Movie loving people. All right, Dave. Um, what else here? Yeah. I'm watching Universe Studio. Hey, Tony. To pick Scarlet or Margot Robbie. Hey, Tony, if you had to pick Scarlet or Margot Robbie. Oh, come on, Dave. That's like fucking Sophie's choice. Um, Margot Robbie. Dude, never make that choice. You have a mouth and a cock for two reasons. You can sit two there. <laughs> God's sake. You got both of them in the room, mate. You, you, you accommodate both. You don't no, he's, he's, he's got to choose one. See, personally, I would go for um, Scarlet. So so me and Tony would be fine. But there's no need for any kind of arguments between me and Tony because he could have Margot. He, you he's a little Australian. Margot beat you up a bit, I think. 
you know, she really, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 What was he knows I'm right. He knows I'm right. <laughs> He's correct. <laughs> Actually, I've just noticed, Tony, as well. You've got obviously Margot behind you and Scarlett. Oh, yeah. I do. Yeah. Well, whereas I've got, well, I've got Back the Future Ghostbusters, uh, Grogu, a Dinosaur, and two Ariasta movies. No women in sight. Unless, of course, the Dalifosaurus could be pretty female because didn't they only produce females in Jurassic Park? So that could technically be, be a woman. Well, uh, Florence, what's her name, is on the cover of Midsommar, isn't she? That's... Oh, yeah, Florence Pugh is on there, that's right, yeah. this is true. Yes, we'll, we'll, we'll get that one, yes, we'll go with that one. Um, what was the last film you watched? Uh, Peter was Gran Torino, Gran, brilliant film. Yeah, Gran Torino is a good film. Clint Eastwood is, is, is very good. What about you, Tony? What was the last thing you watched before, either last night or before you came on here? Um, I didn't watch anything today. The last I saw was F9 in the theatres yesterday. <laughs> Probably just put you off <laughs> movies forever. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. I'm quitting my YouTube channel. I'm quitting buying movies. Thanks very much, Vin Diesel, on the F9 <laughs> I'm going to be a monk. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, with regards to what I want, I've started to watch um, a film called The Super Deep, which our friend supplied to us to watch. Well, I actually asked him for it. I asked him if he could find it a couple of a couple of days ago. I think Rob, if you're watching this, I could be wrong. Yes, really um, but then he sent it to us. Um, so I've got that. It's basically, I believe kind of like underwater meets the thing meets a virus kind of situation i think it's a rush movie um so that's kind of what i'm watching at the yeah, moment but this woman's got a hand like this and you just see her fingers break backwards but and you can't see what does it but it's really visceral oh yeah. so yeah what about then peter was uh, last thing uh, you watched kiki's delivery service is that a uh, ghibli yeah Watched it yesterday. I'm not. I've never watched a Ghibli. Probably not. Oh, actually, that was, first, that was my first Ghibli I've actually watched. I tell you what, I did watch today, which is kind of not a movie, because I wanted to watch it with the kids. Because technically, I only get a chance to watch it when the kids are there. And I started watching Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous, so I did. I just did two and a half episodes back to back, and it's actually quite good. So I have seen that. Yep. You have. Yeah, I haven't seen all the seasons, but I have seen, I think, the first two, maybe. Yeah, I think the third one's just come out, has it? Oh, I could be wrong. I think so, yes. What, what do you think of it, then? Obviously, you've watched, I've only watched two episodes. You've watched two seasons. What do you think? No, it's good. It's, um, I mean, obviously, it's meant for kids, but I think anybody can enjoy it, especially if you like the Jurassic franchise. It ties into the movies pretty well, actually. Yeah, because like the first episode, the second episode had, had Doctor Wu. And I was just like, oh, didn't know he would be in this. But all the music's very Jurassic Park esque. It's, I think the animation on the dinosaurs is better than I'm on the actual characters. Um, yeah. But yeah, I, I think it's yeah. So, so answering the question is, um, Jurassic World, Cre Camp Cretaceous, and that super deep. And you guys watch yours. Um, which is, I just finished watching Sanctum 3D. That, that That's film's cool. not too bad. 3D in that is very good. I have mm. to say, it's, it's one of those which is up there. Have you seen that one, Tony? No, I haven't. Yeah, I'll give it a watch. It's it's just basically about they go down in a cave, the cave collapses, and they have to find another way out, and obviously it's all underwater, so obviously it gets claustrophobic and everything like that. Um, someone told me Tony's favorite movie the is F9. Is this true, Tony? Uh, you got me, Dave, that is. I think Dave's just come on here to spam me, hasn't he, Tony? <laughs> Let's be honest. He's only come on for that. Uh, oh, I've got, yeah. Uh, I watched Monster Squad for Stan a few years ago and absolutely loved it. Never knew it existed before that. Yes, it is happening. The Monster Squad revival is happening. Cool, if man. anybody's out there is watching it, Fred Decker, the director's watching it, you can thank me because I've put it out there. So all the, like, 200 people who might watch my streams over the past six months. That's me. So, yes. Fred Decker, get on the phone. If he's still, is he still alive? I, think, I don't know. Uh, watch Ice World on it was 7 out of 10 uh, do you play video games if so what's your favourite Tony I do not I used to but I don't anymore Pete as soon as, I had, as, soon as you had, I had a kid it all went out the window you never get a chance to you have to sell it because they need stuff and I used to have all the consoles but now I've just got the PC she's got I mean, more consoles than I've got got what's it? oh yeah I mean, I've got PlayStation 4 and 3 up here in this 
my room kind of out. PS4 used to be downstairs, but because I never get a chance to use it, I'll bring it up here. So in between kind of work when I'm on my lunch or whatever, I can play on it. Um, favorite game? Well, I've got to say a lot like Street Fighter 2 for the snares and then Golden Eye for the N64. Advanced Warfare, Mock Call of Duty for the PlayStation 3. And with the four, because I don't have a five, um, probably Alien Isolation and Last of Us 1 and 2. But I haven't really thought about it. <laughs> <I'm joking. laughs> Which is there. Uh, oh, you've already done that one. Oh, Gary's in here. Hi, guys. Hi, Gary. Uh, Hi, Hello. Evander's put, I just, my copy of this science. Oh, I must just watch this copy of this. Oh, no. I, it's got with of uh, Asylum's Aquarium of the Dead Dispatch Mountain Day. Can't believe I spent seven pound on this. That'd be worth it. Yeah, he didn't look very good with these trailer reaction for that. Let's be honest. Um, and it does look okay. looks like a poor movie. About it. I think he may have made a poor choice there. But every film deserves a chance. Every film has to be watched. This is where Pete is actually googling now to find out <laughs> how, how crap it's going to be. This is what he does, Tony. Yeah. Alfie through the streams, he looks stuff up. No, I ordered a couple of things that I ordered Alone in the Dark, the Christian Slater, and The Suckling. That's that an old, uh, cult, old cult horror. But that thing with the weird teeth coming out of its mouth and it's like a mutant baby. It only cost me four quid each. Okay. Well, that's why I, I mean, The Suckling's a really old one, but it's quite funny. And Have you seen anything else by the director of Alone in the Dark? No, I don't think so. Oh, it, it, they're um, they're wonderful. I haven't even seen Alone in the Dark because obviously I know it's based on a film. I'm sorry, a game, but I heard of it, but I've never watched it, and probably then heard that it was really bad, so I never bothered. Oh, I just noticed Tara Reid's in it. Oh my god, I bought something with Tara Reid in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she is. <laughs> Doesn't know what's happening with her. She was really nice in American Pie, but then she's aged like thirty years. Or maybe four, she just looks like a pensioner now, doesn't she? <laughs> she does. Yeah. Kind of happens when you have plastic surgery and snort up a load of cocaine, you know what I mean? <laughs> Not for me. Look at me. No, I'm joking. Uh, Scott said he just looked F9 is on 400 million word words, apparently. Oh. Uh, let's have a look. What's your, uh, Pete asks you, Tony, well, who's your favourite superhero? Oh, what's your favourite superhero film? Sorry. Oh, um... Probably Spider-Man 2 from the Sam Raimi trilogy. It's a good show. Good choice. What about you, Pete? Ooh. Winter Soldier, still one of my favorites. That's a great one. Definitely one of my favorites. But I'm, I'm a Captain Marvel fan as well. I, I love Captain Marvel. A lot of people would give me a hate, but I love it. I've got, I've got Brie Larson on my wall. No, obviously, I'm just killed her and just stuffed her and put her on there. There's actually a poster of Captain Marvel on my wall. Um, uh, yeah. I get a lot of. I like it because I really quite like Brie Larson in it. Just the bit when she does that fight in the subway and then she's like that. She goes, <laughs> and her hair goes up. I was like, oh, I'm in love. And then I kind of liked it since then. <laughs> so, to my favorite sort of hero film, probably Batman 1989. Or Dark Man. I really like Dark Man and Liam Neeson. Um it kinda gets missed out. Kind of tongue in cheek that one, wasn't it really? But yeah. But again, it's another Sam Raimi one, so he's he's not too bad with that. So there you go. Uh oh right. Just so you know, Tony, you might obviously been in our group a few times, you've probably been in our Facebook group a few times. James is gonna ask you the same question. Thanks, James, that he asks everybody. <laughs> Have you seen Never End the Story? I have a long time ago, though. So <laughs> yeah, I would have everybody. to rewatch it. I haven't I have seen, seen it. it so not... I've never seen it. So he sent me a copy of it out of the blue. I got this this big subscriber mail. I was like, what's this? And I just put hi, Paul. I was like, oh. So I said, I'm watching it, James. I'm not the time. I have to, it has to be a time when I'm ready to watch this. Because I don't know. I, I guess when I'm not bothered about watching it, but when someone's asked you to watch it, I want to give it a chance, but it has to be the right time for me to watch it. Um, so, it, so it's down here. So actually, I picked the film up today. Where is it? Did I find it? Oh, by the way, the 35th anniversary new uh, one of Never Ending Story 4K went on pre-order at Zavi today, so... Okay. 
I had this, I sold it, I bought it again. So I bought American Sniper. Because it's only two pounds, so what, four bucks, four or five bucks. Um, so yeah. That's a good one, I like that one. I think I started watching it, but then I stopped it. Um, and I started watching that last night, The Boy in the Striped Pajamas. Um, but then I was getting to a bit, I'm thinking, oh, I may cry, I need to go to bed. So I, I stopped watching that one, because it does look like it. <laughs> A um, little bit of Jurassic World 3 were filmed in Bristol. See, another thing when you mentioned that, I am, and I hold my hand up, a big fan of Jurassic Park 3. I don't mind it. I really do actually quite enjoy it. I, like I don't it. either. I don't either. It's a guilty pleasure, but I don't hate it. Who no, ruins think... it is William H. Macy. Oh, I, I thought the wife was annoying as hell. Yeah. Is it Taylor um, in it? Yes, yeah. All she did was scream. Yeah. I think if you remove the bit where he's in the in the plane, they're having a dream, and he goes, Alan, Alan, and you remove that, there's nothing wrong with that, Adam. Hmm. Nothing at all. I just I just love the bit with the pterodactyls as well, because it was the first time in Jurassic Park that they've actually brought in, hmm. obviously, flying dinosaurs, which they've never had cool, before. Yeah. Um, so, you know, yeah, anyway, that's, that's my Jurassic Park 3. It's not as bad as everybody thinks it is. It's awesome. Um, what else have got here? Uh, people talking to each other. Hey, Jimmy, see now, of course, you're a thousand thubs. Just give you a sub. Feel free to check out my love. Oh, it's working. Um, have you heard of the Russian porn star? His name is Ivor Harden. Honestly, Jimmy. Not on my stream, son. Not on my stream. Uh, Leon's here. Hi, Leon. Uh, stop and say hi, lads. Hope the stream is going well. Yeah, yeah. So, um, I know you've got one coming up next month. So, have you been on a stream? You have, because you went on mid level medias, weren't you? Or is that wrong? No, that was Rob or Stow Susan. So how many streams have you been on then, Tony? None other than... This is it? This is your yes, debut? Is it? Yeah. <laughs> we are honoured. We are. I'm quite happy that you come on. So the one which is next month with you, Dave, and Ava uh, you, Dave Avanda, and Sue, is that mm. you who's hosting that one? That's me, yeah. Okay, cool. What, what date is it again? Just so everybody knows. July 3rd. So that's... Tune in, guys. Tune in. This, is that... Uh, this Saturday, it's this week. Holy crap! Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, what time is it over you for you when you're doing it? Over uh, here, four thirty p.m. So that'll be nine thirty. Okay. So, if anybody wants to go to Tony's channel, nine thirty on Saturday. So, a week yesterday, he'll be doing, like I said, a stream with Vanda and Dave mm. and Sue. So, if you subscribe to the channel, you'll get a subscriber. Um, to get a notification that he's going live. I'm going to check it out. Hopefully, half nine, I should be there because next Saturday, the, Thank you. Uh, the kids will be in bed. And I like to support everybody's channel. Whoever subs for me, if they go live, boom, I'm straight on today. Even if I can't Thank do the whole you. stream, I'll be straight on it. So if you see little Magpie movies popping up and going, hey guys, that'll obviously you know it'll be me because it'll be me going to say hello. Yes. But yes, so anybody else is watching next Saturday, Tony's channel's going live, please do so. That'll be amazing. Um, hey, Tony, if you want to know how well we're treated over here, yeah? We had uh, Jaws 2 and 3 and 4 separately gone still but pre order this week. 17 99 each and none of them in 4K. I saw that. That's. I mean, the, I mean, the first one, yeah, 4K, amazing. Yeah. I mean, I'm a completionist. So unfortunately, I will have to buy them, but quite how I'm going to be spending more than £10 on getting that fourth one is beyond me. But, uh, <laughs> but why they couldn't make them 4K? They could have. They're just lazy back. But let's face it, Jaws three. When it when it's swimming towards that aquarium glass, you know, in the control room near the end, and he breaks through it, that is like some of the worst effects ever. To put that in four K is literally to crucify yourself, really, isn't it? That, that is just so bad. I need to get a hold of. Obviously, I've I've got Jaws four K. I need to get a hold of two and three, which obviously unfortunately comes with four, because the only way you can get three the 3d version of it i'm guessing is in that set so i'm hoping to find that like in, in our in like a second hand place cheap or something well, yeah, it's complete it's like, second hand is like 25 quid is it mm -hmm. it's gone i just want to i just want to watch jaws 3 in 3d and i i used to i did only but i sold it on stupidly i don't it's know one of those 3d films i haven't seen um it isn't that good. What did we hear? Watched Boss Level. Very enjoyable film. But yeah, yeah. Have you seen that one, Tony? With Mel Gibson? I have not. 
I've not heard of that one. So, boss level is Frank right. Grillo, aka, um, I forgot his character's name in Winter Soldier at the beginning. Okay. Um, yeah. It's Crossbones, it? Crossbones, yeah. The guy who blows up and, she, and um, Scarlet was chucks him into a building, and that's all the whole okay. thing started. So, he's the lead character. It's basically he gets killed but keeps going back until he finds out who killed him and how he can help his ex wife and things like that. And obviously, Mel Gibson is the boss, so it's, it's basically working his way through all the people who are set up to kill him. Like, okay. not Scott Pilgrim versus the world, because I know they've got things like that, but like working his way up to the top. But uh, it's good, it doesn't slow you down. down. Like, I'm on Amazon Germany at the moment, so that's what I, I, I literally had it delivered two days ago. It's, it's good, but you're right, the ending's crap. But I'm not going to yeah. say everybody yeah. with regards to everyone has the same opinion. If you ever pick it up, it comes all over there and you watch it, you'll enjoy it, then you go, that was a crap ending. I think everybody, but it also leaves it open to a sequel. Blatantly. But uh, hmm. yeah, so there you go. Have to look for that. Uh, yeah, I, I think you'd enjoy it, Tony. I mean, obviously, I don't know your introduction to music taste, but I don't have a specific, particular genre that I like. But if it's just going to be an hour and a half of action, yeah, I'll give it a go. Uh, how many movies do you own? I, I don't even know. <laughs> Rough guess. Hmm. Four or five hundred, I don't know. Not that many. Yeah, someone asked me on Instagram today because I posted up more pictures every now and again, put my 4Ks up. How many 4Ks you got put on the site? I don't know. I've only got this one shelf and that's it. Of my, up, from there upwards, 4Ks and that's it. I don't have a load. Um, so I don't know how many I've got. Yeah, all, all, all what you can see is double stacked as well, double stacked back. So I've got about 4,350 ish. Yeah, it's basically you walk in his room, he'll be like an FYI, I think. Or is it FYE? F- FYE. FYE. Yeah, I'm thinking of that for your information, idiot. <laughs> uh, yeah, for your information. Jimmy said he watched Murder by the Course on Netflix, it was very interesting, starting creepy, worth a watch. Is that the Spanish one? I'm guessing by the blank faces, nobody else knows that one. Never heard of it. Never heard of it. Right, drum roll, and can everybody put on their shocked face, please? Pete's only watched Robocop for the first time of the day, and it was incredibly fun. The original Robocop, I'm assuming. Yes, I'm presuming so, yeah. <laughs> Pete's out, I hope so. Yeah. Yeah, don't, don't watch three. <laughs> well, unless, of course, it's Jimmy Powell. Yeah. yeah I'm, the one, I'm the one that lent him the trilogy so we could watch it. It's true. Uh, look at your delivery. Service, Pete, good film. It ends a bit abruptly, though. It's like it's like a, a, a story starting to tidy itself up at the end, and all of a sudden they're the credits, and you're like, "All oh, right, time to leave the cinema." Time, you know, it's like you didn't realize it was going to end. It, it just ends really abruptly. Okay. And there are uh, so many panty shots in that film; it's ridiculous. It's what, not knickers. Yeah, I'll tell you, if you watch Kiki's Delivery Service here, yeah, every time you see a knickers, take a drink, and it's the perfect drinking game. You'll be shit-faced okay. with half an hour. It's, it's, pat- it's like these bloomery, fluffy pat- white panties, yeah, and she flashes them about every 40 seconds, getting on and off her broom and stuff. It's pathetic. Okay, you finish on your run? Okay. Can I move on? It's, it's, it's a panty rant. What's wrong with that? <laughs> Uh, movie database, but I recommend everybody go and watch Cannibals and Carpenters, comedy horror, if that's your thing. I've never heard of it, but I've never heard I, of it. I like the, I'm liking the sound of it. Though. It's like Cockneys versus Zombies. You heard of that one? What was it? Cockneys versus Zombies. I don't think Cock- so. Cockneys like a wise guy from like, Scotland way around, over here, yeah. And you know, um, what a cockney is not a cockney is somebody who's from London. You no, know, cockney is all over the place. Or, or, either way, imagine a zombie chasing an old person with a Zimmer frame. That's the kind of shit you're watching. Like the guy's going like two miles an hour, the zombie's chasing him, but like at two miles an hour because he can barely move. And it's like the slowest, most exciting chase you'll ever see in your life. It's this ridiculous fun, but it's really funny. Okay. Well, you okay. haven't told it to me. There you go. <laughs> Jamie's back. You've written VHS and Monster Squad when he was about seven, and so did I, Jamie. 
Uh, be a fit ever since. Nobody ever talks about amazing, amazing film. Just glad it's getting some love, and so it should. So it should. Uh, what else we got? Come on, question, 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 question. Oh, here we go. Have you seen Pacific Heights with Michael Keaton? Good film. I have not. That is Matthew Murray. Like, Matthew Murray. Just Murray. after Batman. It's around <laughs> the time he did 1989's Batman, I think. I can't. I think I've seen it, but I can't remember it. Is it Rebecca De Mornay's in it, or is that no somebody else? No, it's Matthew Modine and um, Manny Griffiths, isn't it? Well, it might be. No idea. Oh, what a surprise! It's not out in this country. I think it is. It's Matthew Modine and Manny Griffiths. Yeah. Okay. What year was it? 19, uh, 1990, yeah. Oh, that was good, though. I told you he was running about the Batman 89. Knowledge. Yeah. He's, a ten, he's a tenant that just is loopy, and he's doing real dodgy shit in there, and it's really well done. Good film. Okay. Uh, have you seen Pretending I'm a Superman? Fantastic documentary film based on Tony Hawk video games. No. No. Nope. Okay. Thanks. No. Oh. Here we go. He's really getting into this, isn't he? I've never seen him come in one of my streams before. Uh, <laughs> favorite hobby? Besides oh. collecting movies? Is um... it going to be collecting Blu-rays, Dave? Uh... Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Probably I... drawing. Drawing? Draw. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Other than... I would probably say playing the guitar badly or having an unhealthy obsession with Oasis and Noel Gallagher. That would probably my, be my hobby. My hobby is film collecting, but also the cinema electronics side of it as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. I do like having the, get, trying to save up the stuff I can't afford for the a better picture yeah, and sound. I just buy it anyway, whether I can afford it or not. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for that. Just rub it in, why don't you? That's fine. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> back in. Would you rather watch Batman and Robin or pick a movie out of the bin at Walmart that contains 80% Bruce Willis Street? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would go for the Street of DVD personally. How much thought went into that question? I know, I do. <laughs> Definitely the Bruce Willis movies. Mm. Yeah, I'd go for that. Batman and Robin, honestly. Yeah, Batman yeah. and Robin's the kind of thing you'd um you'd watch at Dignitas just before you die. So you know who what's happening to you isn't too bad. I think the only good thing about Batman and Robin is probably um Alicia Silverstone as Batgirl. That's pushing as in it. her. Not the you know, just because she was quite she was alright back in the day. Although she's Clues kinda of disappeared off the scene, hasn't she? Huh? She's disappeared every out of thing but she's just gone, isn't it? You don't really hear about her anymore. No, no, she does. She directs, doesn't she now? Does she? I know she's been directing for years. Hmm. Well, name one of the films? No, don't know. But I know she's been doing it for years. <laughs> okay, so it's going. So it's going well then. Yeah. Uh, Jamie put Batman and Robin. He would. Okay, Tony, is the one for you. What film surprised you the most? Hmm. Recently, probably Corella. Because I didn't think I was going to like that at all. And I ended up liking it a lot, actually. It's had a lot of praise, isn't it, really? It has, yep. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not going to pay 16 quid to watch it on streaming. I'll just wait for it to come out. Yeah. yeah. I mean, to, to, with regards to Cruella, it, it was better than I thought it was going to be. But I've said this to the guys out in our group or whatever, that I, I didn't think it was as good. I would only give it, from my rating, like a 7 out of 10. Or maybe a two and a half, three out of five, pushing it. I would. Everyone's like, "Oh, film of the year, ten out of 10. And but obviously, it's all down to individual no. tastes. I don't think it's that good, but it was enjoyable. I think that's how I would You're describe it. Your scores, though. You like that? You're a ball buster with your scores. You are. Me? Yeah. You're harsh. Oh. You're harsh, man. I, I, to be fair, I, I give nobody seven out of ten, didn't I? What did you give? Nobody. I gave it seven out of ten. I haven't watched that yet. I want to see that. That's probably why I lost all those subs that time. Because <laughs> I gave it to my dad. 
Has everybody enjoyed it? Have you seen nobody yet, Tony? I have, yeah. What would you give it? wasn't bad. Um, probably a seven or an eight. There you go, you see? Anyone who watched the end of my last video, there was a uh, Homer Simpson uh, version of Nobody on the end of my on the end of my uh, video. No, I, 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 what was it? The um, thumbnail was that not it? No, that was just him, him coming through uh, with uh, watch. But I got it on the end. He looks like the guy at Nobody on it. It's quite funny. Yeah. So, film surprise Tony at the moment was, was uh, Cruella. What about you, then, Pete? Anything that surprised you? Hmm. Do you know the, the one film that surprised me the most is how much I enjoyed Sherlock Holmes with Downey Jr. I don't yeah, think I do it, like film. it was one of my, one of my favourite films of his. It was very well put together. That's the last one that really did surprise me. Of of recent, one of the films that surprised me because I thought it was a different film was the outpost uh the one with um well it's, it hasn't apart from orlando bloom in it it's got no other kind of major actors in it when it's a prime about the one in uh, afghan where the army base is surrounded by the mountains and it's obviously based on the true story i thought that was really 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 good um and i didn't expect it to be because it didn't have any of your big name hollywood stars in it um but for me it would be the outpost that was really surprised me and probably mm. um parasite because i know it gets a lot of reviews and i would say these films always do but then i watched it and i thoroughly enjoyed it so there you go those are my one or two just a massive fan dress part three can't get enough of it there you go you see people in this stream have got there taste go. always good um have you guys seen the old boy movies? What are your thoughts on the original compared to the Americanized remake? Remake shit. The original is amazing. I haven't seen the original. I have seen the remake, and it was it was crappy. It was it was bad. The original is amazing. Yeah, I, I'm with uh, I'm with Tony. I've only seen the remake with um, Thanos and his daughter Scarlet Witch. Um, <laughs> but I do own. The Josh original. Brown. What did you look for? That's it, yeah, Josh Brown, yeah. And um, I haven't watched it yet, but I do own it, and I will get around to watching it. But, yeah, it was um, a hammer fight in the original, real brutal. It's pretty good. Yeah, the twist was bizarre and funny towards the end. Well, not funny. That's probably the, the wrong phrase to use, I think. Um, Hooked up. <laughs> what I've got here. Uh, are you guys excited for the film Gunpowder Milkshake or Last Night in Soho? Of those two, personally, last night in Soho because it's the Edgar Wright new movie. Gunpowder Milkshake looks all right, but I'll probably wait till it comes to free streaming. Um, yeah, I'd have to say last night in Soho probably because I like Edgar Wright. Um, I haven't actually seen the trailer for Gunpowder Milkshake yet. I know it came out, but I haven't. I haven't watched it yet. It looks nuts, Gunpowder. Yeah. I'll, I'll look at that one, but I haven't seen the trailer for the other one, so I'll, I'll hold back until I've seen both. Last night in Seoul seems like a very is it like a time travel thing, ghost thing, or I don't know really. <laughs> Sorry. Um, just I watched Batman: The Long Halloween Part One last night. You got it the other day, didn't you, Tony? I did. I haven't watched it yet, but I do have it. I do like the best animated so far. Warner Brothers thing. Yeah, I I had never watched any Warner Brothers animated stuff. I know there was that, and obviously it was the Killing Joke. Um. Even the Mortal Kombat Scorpion's Revenge, which everybody says is really good, I haven't I haven't watched them. Um, the Mortal Kombat one is pretty good. I do. I've got them all digital. Like I've got Killing Joke digital. I've got um, Scorpion's Revenge digital. Um, that one, I'll probably wait till I get a copy of that digital as well and give that one a go. But I think I'll probably wait till both them out so I can watch them back to back. Um, but yeah, but yes, with regards to answer the question, I haven't watched it yet. There, Luke. I managed yeah. to pick up two different two different cover versions of Arkham Asylum. <laughs> I don't know how I did that. What is that another animated one? Yeah, the Batman ones, yeah. Oh. See, so far behind. I don't know any of them. Uh mentioned Blu-ray a bit in my underrated movies vid for introduced me to three o'clock high. Thought it was brilliant. Thanks, Bullet. That's an awesome classic film that. I love it. Your classic uh, underdog nerd kicking ass at the end is really yeah, I really like that one. 
I haven't even heard of that film. Trust me, you'll love it. You heard of that one, Tony? I have not seen that one, actually. Uh, do you know the bad guy in Kindergarten Cop? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He's the bully in Three O'Clock High. Okay. And he's like a, he's such a deadpan actor and he's ugly anyway, but it's really good what how he portrays the bully in it. He's just like just a cold bastard in the entire film. And it just works. It really does just work. I can't tell you the ending because you just ruin it, but it's, it's a really good film. Definitely worth picking up. I think I remember you talking about that a while back. Hmm. I'll have to look into that one. News yeah. Travels. Get it on Amazon France, I think it's the cheapest. Uh, Peter put, I watched the trailer for Halloween Kills and wow, what an incredibly trend tra- intense trailer. I never actually seen any of the ha- What? What? Seen- <laughs> have a food. Right, Tony, Pete, sorry, me and you need to have a word because the other day you haven't seen Gladiator and I need you watch Gladiator for me, I hope. You've never watched any Halloween films. Okay, so you need to watch Halloween 1 and 2, miss out 3. Oh, no, although 3 is good, but to get the mic up. Anyway, you need to watch them all, let's be honest. Maybe not Halloween Resurrection, but you need to watch them all. But yes, no, don't watch the Halloween Kill trailer is looking awesome. It does it look looks... cool, yeah. Yeah, that's that, great. It takes out the fire guys at the start, you know, it's like, oh, help. Yeah. That's kind of harsh. But it kind of, I'm just, as it goes, yeah. through, go on, Tony, finish what you're going to say. I'm just hoping they didn't show most of the kills in the trailer. I mean, hoping they save some for the actual movie. Because they did show a lot. That was the only... Yes, you're right. He he clearly showed that he survived. He clearly showed how he got out. Clearly showed that where it's going to take place, and possibly some people like that. That the the black lady. They're going to fight him. We're going to kill him. Okay. Oh, and we had your mask. Do you want your mask? Trailer had a lot of aspects of other Halloween. So obviously you've got. Mm. As I said on my Instagram, there's the the three masks which are from Halloween Mm. three, which you also saw some of them in the original one. I mean, sorry, the 2018, the previous one to that. Um, and then you had um, in a hospital, like Halloween 2. And then you've also got, you know, the, the locals or, you know, with the pick forks, pitchforks and let's go and find him, which is reminiscent of, I think, 4? No, or 5? Yeah, 4. Is it 4, is it? Because then he gets shot and he gets... And then the 5 is when he wakes up next to, like, a river, isn't it, where he's being cared for by this hermit or something. Um, so there's many... So there's a lot of homages as such to it, um, but yeah. Um, but also the fact that this one is, you may, well, you probably won't, but you may see him without his mask. He's obviously, um, what do you call it, Strauss, um granddaughter is holding up his mask, and if you want it, come and get it. So we could see him. But then again, in the other, in the previous clips, you've seen him pick it up off the ground, haven't you, and put it back on. So obviously he gets it, so you know he kind of gets it back. But uh, yeah, of all the trailers I've watched recently, that looks pretty wicked. Just pray it's not giving too much away. Oh. Uh, James asks, is there a film you, you ever bought that you got purely for the cast alone? The score with Edward Norton and Robert De Niro. And it was rubbish. Ocean's Eleven. And I loved it. Um yeah, I just recently bought that uh, Above Suspicion movie with Amelia Clark, just for Amelia Clark. So I haven't watched it yet, but that would fall into that. Yeah, I think similar as well would be, is it Pretty Little Things? Because it's got Rami Malek and Denzel and Jared Leto. Yes, yeah, oh, yeah I don't like that. <laughs> it's not good. I, I have, have you, have you seen it? Yeah, I've seen it. I thought it was boring. Okay. Because I kind of fancied it, but at the same time, it hasn't had that big of kind of release, has it? It hasn't been like built up or anything. It's just kind of appeared from nowhere. And when I it's think like it came out here after, in it? January this year, I think, over here. So is, is it one of those you watch it once, go meh, and then that's it? Yeah, I've only seen it once on HBO Max, and that was it. Okay, you won't buy it? No, it's out over here already, though. It came out last month, I think. Yeah, I think we've had it for the same, probably the same time. I just I've never watched it. Uh, only managed to get two of them Pan Am Transformers. Oh, that's what Rob. Uh, Rob He's from London. Yeah. Here we go. Favourite Willem Dafoe movie? Ooh. Mm. I know one. Platoon. 
that's a good one. Um, the only thing that comes to mind is the first Spider Man, so I'll just I'll just say that. Yeah. I've got Antichrist to watch here with him in it, and still I'm got around to watching that yet. Yeah, my sister really likes Antichrist. Okay. I haven't <laughs> seen that. <laughs> I'm Gordon William Defoe's not really I mean, I'd love to say Aquaman. Because I, I like him in that, but there's not too much mainstream that blows me skirt up with him, really. Well, he was in American Psycho, wasn't he? Was he? I watched it. He was a police. He was a. He was the policeman who comes to interview Patrick Bateman in American Psycho. Oh, okay. um, but yeah, for me, Platoon is great. Him, Tom Barrage, and Charlie Sheen. It's it's just great. Platoon's an awesome movie. If everybody is watching this and never seen Platoon, you need to go and watch it because it's awesome. If you get it on iTunes, it's 4K as well. There you go. I should be getting money off Apple here as well. Apple, Fred Decker from Monster Squad. Awesome. Um, what's the most gruesome scene you have ever seen? Huh. Well, my daughter shot a pants the other day. That was pretty numb, Joe. <laughs> uh, most gruesome scene you've ever seen. The Green Inferno is pretty bad. There's a scene in that with a larger gentleman. Um, Do you know the one that shocked me the most is actually from the TV series Game of Friends at the Wedding. Oh, the, the slaughter at the wedding. Oh, the red wedding. Okay, I'm with you. Yeah, the slaughter at the wedding in Game of Friends. That surprised me. That shocked me. That really proved that and no fucker was safe. That was kind of awesome. Good gruesome scene. And of course, uh, a Serbian movie, a Serbian film. I haven't watched that. I, I don't really bother about that one. Yeah. Have you um, seen the Serbian film? I have not. Trust me, yeah, you don't, don't want to. Um, the end of Martyrs was pretty gruesome. Yeah, that was that was. Huh. I've seen that one. I, I guess the Evil Dead remake was kind of pretty bad. I guess there was one thing. It's just something where they're going towards one of the characters' eyes with a needle or something. Anything with like yeah. needles or glass in the eye, I just I can't watch that. So. That was or maybe bad. the hostel when he cuts the back of his ankles. Yep. Yeah, and he just goes, <laughs> yeah, that's, oof. Uh, Togo is the best woman to film movie, to that one. Uh, favorite Fast and Furious film, none of them, because they're all shit, but uh, I'm sure <laughs> everybody else will jump on. Uh, uh, also, you know, Tony's F9, so we'll move on. I'm joking. <laughs> Seven. Uh, I'd say either one or five. You said seven, Pete. Yeah. Favorite Al Pacino film? Ooh. Scent of a Woman's good. It'll be Scarface, isn't it? Scarface, yeah. Oh, I said so. Uh, got, uh, James always asked Pete when you join him for a coffee and a chat. Oh, yeah. I forgot you're doing those coffee ones, isn't you? When I when I actually get up and I'm actually co yeah actually coherent, I'll I'll jump on. Oh, he does got a bit of feedback here as well. A bit boring stream tonight, guys. Need a bit more oomph in your talking. <laughs> Do we know? Oh, thanks for that. Appreciate the feedback. I've been up uh, since six a.m. No, how far I was up. Uh, still good for uh, What film do you regret watching? Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. Ooh. The lighthouse. Innkeepers. Oh, you always say the innkeepers. <laughs> I need to watch that because you, you see it so so bad. Sucks but I'll probably say the lighthouse for me. Or I know Tony would hate me for saying this, but Birds of Prey. <laughs> no, that's that's debatable. It's not a good movie. I just like Margot Robbie. Yeah, um, probably The Witch, cool. maybe. Mm. The thing about Birds of there. Prey. The whole film does not suck. The end women fight is the biggest load of crap ever put on film because the stuntmen oversold everything. Those women should not have been in that fight at all. Period. No arguments. That ruined the entire film. The start of the film's good. End of it's bad. Margot Robbie, four, oh, yeah. Okay. That's all I'll say on the subject. So you don't need to watch IMDb. I need to watch Rotten Tomatoes review now. I'm just going to put that straight on the internet, and that's your review for Birds of Prey right there. Damn right. <laughs> I'll stick by it. 
Uh, Forgot what movies asked. Have you seen Sam Raimi's The Quick and the Dead? Awesome cast of Gene Hackman, Russell Crowe, Sharon Stone, and, and DiCaprio. I haven't. But oh, I I've, not. I've got it, but I haven't watched it yet. I'm not a huge Western person, so I have not. I really I wasn't until I watched True Grit. That impressed remake. me. Yeah, that impressed me. The remake of that really did impress me. I was quite happy with that one. You watched Unforgiven yet? Nope. Have you, have you seen the steel book we're getting for Unforgiven over here? That's yeah, rubbish. It's like they've literally taken a photo out of a family album and slapped it on the steel. What a pile of shit. Yeah, no yes. effort been made at all. What about Bone Tomahawk? you seen that yet? Nope. Got it. No. Tombstone? Got it. And watched it. Young Guns? Got it. Watched it about 20 years ago. Young Guns 2? No, ain't got it. Okay. Those are, those, those are, those are, those are the ones I like. But yeah. Um, have you seen The Wolfman with Benicio Del Toro and Hopkins? Gets a lot of hate, but I loved it. Yes, I have it. I own it, and I do like it. Yes, I, I like it. that as well. I own it normal and still, but it is a good film. It is. See, even, even Alan's but it's a good film. It is. Uh, randomly, I think it was about a couple of months ago, I saw it when I'm just, you know, when you just look at your collection, you just look at it and go, oh, that's not a bad collection, that. And I saw it, and I thought, I haven't seen that in ages, so I put it on, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was really good. Um, just seen them make a scary movie six. Do we really need that? We'll be in three enough this year. Yeah, we probably don't need that. That's Why? Joe, for some I stupid don't... reason, um, CEX is actually paying people eight to ten pound voucher for a scary movie four at the moment. Okay. Did you want to trade it in? I really want that. What two films from the eighties would you like there to be a crossover film? Ooh, that's the a hell, man, James. Uh... Um, you can see why we hate his hate his uh, quiz questions, can't you? At the future, yes. <laughs> thing. Back um, to the future, and the thing. Scary. Eighties crossover. God, you man, about the future and the thing, or. Beverly Hills Cop and Lethal Weapon. Um, maybe Ninja Turtles and Back to the Future. I don't know how that would work, but it'd be interesting. Yeah, or Ninja Turtles and Batman 1989. That would be good. Have you got the Back to the Future still books? I don't. My target has them, though. I haven't bought them yet. Yeah, I'll, I'll go that. I like that. The, the picture that the three cases make the car, but it doesn't match too well. Bit annoying. So that is his crossovers done, then there is a Peter. Mm, no, I'm thinking um, Lethal Weapon and the Reason Pet. Okay. Well, then, <laughs> it's dead 20 on. Is this the last Sunday stream this week? This yes. Yeah. This, this week, as in, like, is this week's the last Sunday stream to me, James? Yes, it is. I think if you've worded that right, yes, we'll be back in August. Hopefully, yeah. when we're all in Birmingham. Uh, yes, we know Tony, a few of us, uh, YouTubers, Blue Tubers, or whatever, have all kind of arranged to meet up in August at an unknown That's date cool. for everybody who's watching, but we know because we don't. I, I don't want to give out the date, you know, because just people will just flock. Do you know what I mean? And it'll just be. Well, it's not just that. People will know when I'm not in my house, and not, uh, most of the people on YouTube know my address. That's the situation. Straight around. Yeah. So, we're hopefully, going to do come back and do a live stream then. From the hotel room. Uh, what's your favourite Disney Pixar film? Ooh. Ooh. Monsters Inc. Is that Pixar? Toy Story or Finding Nemo? Uh, to put, on, let me just put Pixar, Disney films. I, I, see, I'm going to go say Coco, but I don't know. Oh, here we go. Yeah, Coco's one. Yeah. There you go. Is Monster Inc. one? Is that Pixar? Is it? So right there. Look at your screen. I know, but it's very small, my screen. Actually, no. I would probably say Wally or Coco. I'm a big fan you of Wally. We're only just getting these 4Ks over here. You're just so getting those now? Yeah, it's only the second one. They're releasing one a week. It's really annoying. Huh. We got those last year, I think. Coco yeah. on 4K. Yeah. Really need to get Coco on 4K. Uh, what is it? Have you ever heard of the series Eerie Indiana? Yes, of course, but never watched it. Yeah, never watched it, but I've heard of it. You heard of it, Tony? Heard of what? Eerie Indiana? Um, yeah, I have. I've never seen it, though. 
Okay. And Tony, you want to know how nice our community is over this? One of my subscribers and one of the groups sent me that. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of which, so Tony, you know how I said to you know, really, that we have an extra guest on? Mm -hmm. And I'm, So Rob is now here. And that's the guy who sent it. I've just made it. Just finished work. Sorry, guys. So you told me you couldn't make it. I literally finished five minutes ago. Oh, God. So anyway, Tony, this is Rob. Rob, this is Tony. Hello. How are you doing, man? I am a subscriber to Tony's. That's okay. Thank you. There we go. See, it's always good. Uh, we've had our first negative feedback, Rob. He said it was, did you did you hear about the negative feedback? Tell me. Uh, I can't remember now. <laughs> the stream, it's it's a bit a bit boring stream, it says, apparently. What, what this one? Yeah. yeah. Well. Don't watch it then. Yeah. <laughs> I can do some, <laughs> so I mean, do some dancing. You we know. can dance. I'll, I'll get my dancing plan. Hold on. My creation that I made. <laughs> Audrey too. Does awesome. it have teeth? No, I, I can. I can. He's a bit gummy, this one. So you stick okay. your dick in there and find out. <laughs> Jesus. Plant it in there. Anyway, so uh, what we've got here, do, do, do. <laughs> right? Anyway, Rob, yeah. So Rob, <laughs> so Tony, straight at you. What's your favorite war movie? Uh, Saving Private Ryan. Good shout. Good shout. Absolutely. I don't care what anyone says. That beat scene and the sound alone is just whoa. The opening scene of Saving Private Ryan, Private Private Ryan, even has to be one of the best war opening scenes ever <laughs> on the beach of Omaha. It has to be. So good. And, it, and every time you bought a Call of Duty game back in the back in the day, you always had Omaha Beach, didn't you? Yeah. It's, it's the first level. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. I mean for me War Thumbs would probably be that. Letters of Hirojima or Platoon would be my um, maybe Fury throw that in there as well. They're good movies. Uh, have you seen all the Stones Talk Radio? Oh, I've I've not known. No, I know what we're not. No, Pete, have you heard of that one? Which one? Talk radio. Talk radio. Talk, talk radio. radio. Yeah, I've heard of talk radio. Have you seen it? Uh, no. Is that the one where he's in like a fire tower and there's a and he's he's talking to somebody back in time? No, that's frequency. Is it? I, I've got a question. Um, yeah. I caught the stream earlier when he was talking about Snyder Cut, obviously, with HBO Max. That's why mm -hmm. Americans got it late. Is that the same with Mortal Kombat, then? Do we get it first? That's how you do, Max. yeah. You get it. We get it on the 13th of this month. Yeah, um, we get it on July. July. 13th of July. You get but it. I guess Space, Jam, Space Jam's HBO as well, is it? Over here? Or with you? Space Jam, I think, is earlier in the month, maybe? It might be. I don't know. I'd have to look. It's July, though, definitely. Okay. Is that the 4K? Yeah, 4K. I like the look of the new one. Yeah, I think it looks, I think it looks, it looks good. I think it's supposed to have a, a cameo of Mr. Jordan himself. Yeah, it looks very well polished, if you ask me. But Michael B. Jordan, out of, like, Creed and that. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I just I'm, don't I'm, like Le LeBron James, so... Not at the moment. Probably He's a bit, um, yeah. He's a douche. He's, he's done some bad things. But I reckon all the this CGI you see, I guarantee it's the last five minutes of the film. Probably. What do you mean, the actual fight of the, the basketball match? Yeah. I think the CGI bit is the final round kind of thing. And the rest of the film is going to be like as it is. Hopefully, we might have Bill Murray back. As the coach? Yeah. Obviously. Coach? No, that was... No, the coach was the guy from Jurassic Park, wasn't it? Dennis Nedry. Well, he won the coaches, the big fat guy. Yeah. I, I, I think I've watched it in a long, 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 long time ago. First, we get Space Jam 4K on the fifth as well, aren't we? Before we talk about the first one. Fifth of what? Fifth of what? Sorry. Fifth of July. First one. So that can't be right. It can't be. Oh, the first one. Sorry, I thought you meant the second one. Yeah, no, the first one. But the the 4K still because it's really nice. Look, looking at what's coming out before the end of the year, do we think we're going to get Ghostbusters as a Christmas release? 
because it's normally what four it's not normally three month turnaround there or is that changed now because of covid i think that's in november though is it like, have we got a big release that's going to be you know we had star wars christmas time what release have we got physical to buy at christmas mm. is there, huh. they'll have to rush ghostbusters surely i don't think i don't think ghostbusters will be a christmas release Mm-mm. same with halloween they have the potential to do it. Quiet Place Part 2? And Halloween. Halloween, potentially. Yeah, maybe, yeah. For us, Quiet Place in Halloween. July. I think the problem is Quiet Black Widow. July, yeah. Black Widow and um, Quiet Place Part 2 will be no. Christmas time, right? I, I, I think when Black Widow airs, you'll have it on disc a month afterwards. I'm here in September. Quick. I'm here in September. Because we, we were talking about it earlier, like Mandalorian. Series one has not got a release, so we're not going to see Loki, Winter Soldier, any of them, one division on this physical are we for probably never because they'll lose subscribers. No, I don't think you're going to see them at all. Disney doesn't want to, unless you get like bootlegs somewhere, Disney's not going to put those out, at least over here. Oh, Rob, Rob doesn't know nothing about bootlegs. This <laughs> <laughs> is why I'm unplugging my own one division here. <laughs> yes, yeah, if they're continuing the MCU as in under phases, surely. To get the full um, for phase four, you're going to need to watch One Division, Winter Soldier, and Loki. If you're not seeing them, it kind of puts you out of whack, surely, because there is stuff that's going to leave into Mo- the Madness one, Doctor Strange. So it's silly if they're not to release it, surely. Was anyone else ghost about that Abominable was in that Ten Rings thing? Abomination. Yeah, yeah, yeah I didn't expect that at all. I was like, what, what the fuck's that doing there? <laughs> yeah, I mean, oh, that's what you leave. Did he not die? Why put it in the trailer? Yeah. No, no he, he disappeared, didn't he? He, he fucked off, I think. Or he's yeah. laying there on the floor. But but this this is, yeah, again, this is how fucked up these trailers are. Why put it in the trailer? This is going back to Fast. Well, one thing I'll say about Fast, that they, you know, the return of Han was a big thing, a surprise in the film. Well, that was crap. But they put him on the theatrical poster. Do you know what I mean? Leave, leave something to look forward to in a film like Abomination rather than mm. having him in a trailer. My, my, yeah, and he just walk, he walks in and eating popcorn. You're like, right, okay. This is why I want Mando, he did know that there was going to be a baby order in it. Well, he kind of did because yeah. obviously Americans saw it before we did. So because season one came out on Disney Plus after America had it. So he kind of knew. But we kind of caught off for season two. So nobody knew that Luke was going to be on at the end of it. Everyone's no, watching it. Perfect. I was cry- I was like, my heart was pumping. You know, it was like it was fantastic. This is why I don't want another Ghostbusters trailer. Look at Mortal Kombat. You know, we had a fantastic trailer, and then thirty-five teaser trailers the week before it come out. And so, I mean, so if we get another Ghostbusters, we're going to see a Stay Puft Marshmallow Man. We're going to see Goza potentially. We're going to see Terror Dogs, and it- I'm not going to see it. <laughs> true. It's true. Shall we? Um, since you're here, Rob, and we'll probably. Actually, we're not too bad. I thought, are we in, you know, apparently Rob's going to be here in five minutes. You're already here, Rob. Excellent. Excellent. He's lying again. Uh, well favorite non Disney animated, non Disney Pixar animated film. Probably have to be a Lion King for me. Lion King for me. Tangled Black Cauldron. Hercules. Tangled Pixar. It's not, is it? Hercules. Hercules. It's based on my life. Yeah. But if Obviously. I say non Disney completely, I really like a Megamind. I think Megamind's underrated. Oh, I love Megamind, but Iron Giant's my, one of my favourites. And Crudes. Crudes is good. Yeah. That's like yeah, the Crudes. The, the, the Crudes 2, is, I think, comes out in the cinema in the UK this week. In the cinema. Yeah, Hasn't it come out in America on Blu-ray like six months, seven months ago? Yeah, we've had it for a while on Blu-ray now. Crazy. Ridiculous. James says yeah, hello, right. Rob, by the way. Here's a question. What's your favourite Guy Ritchie film? Have you seen many, Tony? Have you seen them all, all? I haven't seen them all. The Gentleman was good, and his Aladdin wasn't bad, but I haven't seen, like, too many of them. So you've got Lockstock. I did enjoy the Gentleman. Lockstock, in it. For me, it would be Lockstock, his first one, and then Snatch, and then I enjoyed the Gentleman. I haven't seen Aladdin. Um, King Arthur was all right, but no, it has to be Lockstock, Lockstock hasn't it? Because Lockstock's got like an Italian job ending, and I love that. Your Lockstock, and it's got Sting in it. 
fries. Yeah. What was that, sorry, Pete? Lot Stocks kept its price even second hand. I mean, it, it took me like two years to find it as a steel book for a decent price. I know. I What's that, Blu-ray? Uh, we're not getting. We're not shit, getting shit on Blu-ray. Don't you? It looks all right, yeah. I mean, do you know we're not we're not getting the 4K Wrath of Man over here? I've got to get it from France. Yeah, I said earlier. It's annoying. That's this is what I don't understand. Sometimes we, I mean, it's like a guy, it's a guy Ritchie film, isn't it? So why isn't it coming out 4K in the country he's born in? For God's sake, it does my head in? Thanks. Finished? No. Okay. It looks, but him and his missus watched a, uh, a weird movie yesterday called Becoming on Sky. Have you seen it, guys? It's an odd one watching it. Odd watch, in my opinion. I haven't heard of it, Becoming. Anybody else heard of that one? No, I've not. No. Sorry, guys. No? Sorry, okay. Luke. <laughs> Name a film which revealed the story in the trailer. Half of them. Terminator Genesis. <laughs> yeah. Well, the force is that as well, didn't it? Genesis or whatever it's called. Yeah, that is Genesis. Oh crap! Yeah, I don't see the only Terminator film I don't like is number three. All the others I don't mind. I don't mind no. Salvation. I don't mind Dark Fate. I don't mind Genesis. Salvation, just... Salvation's the worst one, I think. I don't. Mind Christian Bell's nearly any. I, I like it. Salvation. Yeah, I don't mind it. Either. I like Salvation. I think people need to give um. The Sarah Connor Chronicles, a, a, a second watch or a first watch, it's very, very good. Have you finished watching it? I have, yeah. Because you, 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 you bought it, then I bought it after you. I haven't got around to it. I've only watched the first two episodes of the first season. I haven't finished. Now, which season did I send you? The second or first? Series two. Oh, one of them. I've got one from CX. You sent me one. Yeah. So it's really good. It's literally, they travel back in time. All, all that John Connor and so. But it's a, it's a different twist that they should have done maybe in the films. Well, they're continually sending someone back. It's it's the same film, like five, six times, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So, go on then. What, which film revealed the story in the trailer? Uh, well, I don't know. I wouldn't say they revealed the story in the trailer, James. Probably revealed what happens in it. A lot of horror films that you go to see, you know that some character's going to die because you see them kind of die in the trailer, aren't you? Like the new Halloween Kills, you know, like older couple are going to die because he's done it, and those kids with the Halloween three masks are going to die because they're in the trailer. But then you could say this is going. I don't want to keep mentioning it, but put all the F nine, put all the F nine trailers together. You got the film. The last trailer was the opening, yeah, well, and maybe the begin, the begin, the beginning of Mortal Kombat, like under that seven minutes they released, maybe. Are your your Justice League Snyder cuts listed for September seventh in the US? Yep, yeah, they just announced that the other day, actually. Is that the Took trilogy? No, no, yeah, yeah, trilogy, yeah, it's really trilogy. trilogy, yeah. Uh, there is, Red Scott said there's a button for the to DC cartoon movie. There is, you're yes, right. Yes, good, good, good. There is, yeah. Favorite Robin Williams movie? Bicentennial Man. <laughs> Flava. Uh, hmm. I would say Awakenings. I just love Awakenings. For comedy, it would probably be um, Mrs. Delphire or, yeah. oh my God, uh, Good Morning Vietnam. Yeah, uh, very, very good show. Like that, yeah. Good morning. You'll get it's good enough. You'll get correct it, September twenty first as well. We are. Is it one hour? Is it yeah. one hour photo where we played that creepy guy? Yes. Yes, that's one. Of, that's a good performance. Well, it's, too. A, it's a very different performance. Yeah. Mm. Good. Yeah. There you go. Uh, can we get a Sunday the Dumb, please, Rob? The Dumb. Uh, and James is back with the standard question for every guest we have, Tony, so I apologise in advance. What's your favourite TV theme tune? Uh, Past or present? Any I theme tune? Uh, about, uh, the Golden Girls was just on TV, so I'll go with that. It's not my favourite, but there we go. Why well, have you got? You want, what's that there? Sure there. I'm itching. All oh, oh, right, sorry. I thought you saw you tapping your arm. No, no, it's just this. <laughs> Phil's here. Even though that, I would say hi. Hope you're okay. Thanks, Phil. More importantly, I hope you're well, so, my friend. Hope you're right, Phil. Going well yeah, with you. Phil. 
Oh, big fan in the town games, but this stream is getting great now. This bloody block is electric. Is he? <laughs> well, Lord Ryder, electric. Fuck it. A thought on the 18th. James, you just come up with random questions to ask. <laughs> that is yeah. random. Yeah, thoughts of the 18th movie. It's shit. There I you. haven't seen it. I have not seen it. You're not missing out, Tony. It's You're lucky then, yeah. Oh, oh, bollocks. What was... what? Sorry, yeah. I'm just destroying my background there. Eh? What are you looking for? Is it going to be relevant to this question? The dun, <laughs> the dun, the Mandalorian, whatever. See that? The dun. Jamie's put here. Sorry. James Bond, maybe Rob. What was that? No. Um. I don't know. I've got a license to kill virus. But. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Evander's put his favourite movie, war movies would be 1917, Good Shout, Fury, Black Hawk Down, Midway. Uh, well, Midway, mm, with me, it was all right. Uh, Flags of Our Fathers, Good Shout. That's why I said Letters for Hirojima, which is a kind of brother-sister film to go with it. Hacksaw Ridge, Red Tail's never seen it, Awful Lord. But a, a uh, war mo movies, are we talking just war in general? Because many films that have war in, like, War of Planet of the Apes. Are we looking at just... I think he means a historical yeah, war. Not. Otherwise, you could bring Star Wars so See, I love war films, but don't you think it got to a point where he was getting one out a fucking week? Yeah. Like, there's, there's overkill. You know, you've got maybe five or six fantastic ones, and then you'll get a budget one every week or a sequel that, you now this is based on true events. It's got fucking aliens in it. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Um, James, I'm trying to be entertaining yeah. then. Cool. Yes. Right, sub zero. Yeah. Rob's going bondage. Yeah. Is that going to be a mask? It's in Birmingham. It's my COVID mask. Okay. So James, what was the Amazon was selling bootleg Mandalorian Blu-ray? I think it was Mandalorian DVDs. I'll see that. I'll see that. Yeah. Yeah, I, I can't believe they took my took my cell down. <laughs> <laughs> Big Paul is here. Hey fellas, and hey Tony. Hope you're all good tonight. Thank you very much. Hey, hey Big Paul. Yeah. I think we need a bit of Paulie. Paulie, do you want to jump on, mate? Come on, get Paulie yeah. in. Paulie, Paulie, Paulie. Yeah, no, this is Tony's stream. No, this is Tony being yeah, a guest on want, his He's going to want people. He Paulie, he... Paulie wants to jump in. He can... We'll send him the link. Um, have you seen Scum with Ray Winston? I Follow. think... No. I might have done. I can't remember. It was a while ago, though. It's an acquired taste like Romper Stomper. You know, it's, yeah. it's, it's good, but it's like, it's not... Can you class it? It's a nasty film. I don't know if you class it as a as a good film. It's it's yeah. It's like Chopper. Have you seen Chopper? No, I Chopper. Chopper is is a great, especially when he's at the bar and he gets his little, he gets his cock out and they're going chops man. I don't know why. And he's like what what what? And he's just wiggling away there. Yeah. So your favourite scene in the film is the cock scene. Yeah, let's quickly move on. Yeah, <clears throat> we're not going about that. Uh, <laughs> What was it? My Mrs. Grandpa fought on D-Day, as Jay, they called him G.I.A. Lemmy. He's 97 now, still going okay from something. Yeah, that's not fair play. Pretty good. Fair play. We should watch We Were Soldiers, Mel Gibson, for the first. That is a good movie, We Were Soldiers. Mm. Very good. Yeah. I tell you, I, what's, your, what's your thoughts on Wind Talkers? The one with um, Nicholas Cage. Oh, I liked it. Okay. Uh, Sorry, well, it's all, it's all straight, straight down, this. <laughs> straight, straight down, yeah. Here, then, go, Tony. If you could have any film which hasn't got a 4K release released on 4K, what would it be? Oh, True Lies. <laughs> that needs to come out in 4K. That needs to come out on Blu ray. I'd rather have The Abyss in 4K. I'd like to see the, the original 1990 Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in 4K, purely so that um, Jamie would then upgrade his to 4K. But no, I think yeah. that needs that needs to 4K. Waste the money, that. I think we'll only get a true lay, true lies on 4K and Blu-ray if they made a sequel. Because right. I think they've got copy, copy, copyright issues, isn't they? I think with no, it's woke issues, isn't it? Because it's stereotypical terrorist, and he doesn't want to. That's why, yeah. Like that. That's yeah. That's... Nothing to like a bollocks. You say that with most yeah. films, can't you? You look, look at some of the descriptions of these films on Netflix. It's, yeah. it's, it's laughable. And look what they've done to Doctor Who next. You know what I mean? Oh Jesus, yeah. We'll, we'll that skip holy, on. Holy guy, whatever his name is. Yeah. Have you heard about this? 
We're turning we're turning Doctor Who into a gay teenager. I have not. I've never seen Doctor Who. Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, uh. Wow. I wouldn't okay. say turn him to a gay teenager. I think it's, they're what? trying to be more open and be welcoming everybody. So if, if that guy's a good actor, though, Pete, regardless of whether he's gay or not, it doesn't matter. Fair play to him. Because there was a lot of hoo heart when Jodie Whittaker was going to take over. I think in the next series, they'll turn him into an animal. They'll turn him into a dog or something. Yeah. Fucking dog. <laughs> like, I've always said, like, I mean, I'm not a big fan of Doctor Who, but I would. Like same with James Bond, I'd like Idris Elba to have a shot at James Bond and Doctor Who. I think Idris Elba will be cracking as Doctor Who. It's top block, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Um, what's your favourite movie soundtrack? How That's still Pulp, Pulp Fiction. Mine's one. Mine's a tune from the film. It's uh, uh, the album In Your Eyes, uh, so, album So by, it's In Your Eyes on the album So by Peter Gabriel. What film's it from? Say anything. Oh. Yeah. When, he's, when he's holding up the uh, jukebox, the uh, boombox. I don't know. I mean, if anything to spring to mind for you, Tony? Um, maybe the first Guardians movie. That's a pretty good soundtrack. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, what a difference, though. The first soundtrack, absolutely amazing. The second soundtrack was the biggest pile of shit I've ever heard in my life. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, it wasn't as good. The, um, Mr. Blue Sky yeah, again. But the first one's a classic. Don't think soundtracks are hit and miss. Stuff like Guardians, which is pure classic songs. And a lot of soundtracks are just background music, which is fine. It's fine, or orchestral stuff. But you, you, you couldn't sit and listen to the whole album, that surely, could you? I know a lot of the Star Wars <laughs> I knew I'd seen you before, Rob. It's the Techno Viking. It's Rob. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, Rob. Go on, get down, son. The, the beard's coming off tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> what is Peter? Uh, I was going to wear a white vest for the stream. I know. Oh, that's I don't a classic. Know what, uh, what TV shows do you think are underrated? Underrated? Some are. Ah. Quantum Leap. A lot of show, a lot of shows out today are welcome, don't they? When when you get to about nine to ten seasons, it kind of there's probably uh, ones that they cancelled too early. Maybe I'm trying, I can't think of any that maybe might maybe I'll say Sarah Connor that was cut short. Mm. I never liked How I Met Your Mother. That stayed on too long. And my name is Elle. That dragged on. Yeah, I mean, I think all the, all the shows have been right then, Tony. Um. I don't watch a ton of TV, so I can't really think of one off the top of my head. Mm. No, you know, I totally get that because I'm totally agree with that. I think I don't get that many. What well, I think if I watch a TV show here, it's very few. Bob, you know, some I started watching that Black Summer. Is it? I think the the zombie one. I've watched about okay. four, or five episodes because they're only on for half an hour. Uh, but that's all right. Uh, uh, but I really want to give that a money heist. I go. Okay. Heist. Over, over, over saturated with zombies, too many zombie films or TV shows. Yeah, Walking Dead. Let, 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 no pun intended. Let, let, let them die for a bit, and then reinvent yeah. it in ten years or so. That's true. Uh, Jamie's put up to 195 subs now. Many guys, thanks for help. Yeah, if anybody else has tuned in and you haven't already subscribed to Jamie Powell, please do so. Uh, awesome guy. I just subscribed, Jamie. Although... <laughs> I subscribed tonight as well. Uh, Tony subscribed, so that's all good. Um, Tenacious Day in the Pick of Destiny. Oh, I'll talk to him. Um, yeah. That's what we've got. That's quite wrong. So they've done a sequel to that. Have they? Uh, they have. Mm. They did, you're right. I have the. No, they did. No, no, no they, are, they, are, they are doing one. They're doing a sequel. Okay. Um, what is your favourite alien film? Species. I think he means of the alien franchise. franchise. Is that? It's got to be aliens, isn't it? It's got to be aliens. aliens. Aliens for me. Yeah, James Cameron's 96 Aliens. Then I would say Alien, then it's Alien 3. Actually, no, maybe Covenant. But yeah, anything but Resurrection. Anything they need, to, they need to read the aliens and put in the part where Hendrickson is in that tube and an alien tries to get him, which is yeah, cut yeah. in the film. They need to put that in and do it 4K. I can put that bit in and do it to 1080p, but that's the best I can do. 4K, mate. 4K. 
Rob, have you have you um, created a different channel for yourself and called yourself Big Fan of Nintendo Games? No. <laughs> what? Because the, yeah, the, the bounty block is legendary. He needs his own channel. Oh, what? Right. I, I have got my own channel, Rob Fez Bounty. <laughs> I, I am normally on this stream permanently. I, I am normally I, I am normally on this stream, but obviously I I work Sundays now, so I had to force you drop out. With going back to the earlier question, when Jimmy said about Bond, you meant blonde as in no time that would be the big cinema. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, the yeah. 4K to buy. But saying that, when's, when's Bond? When's Bond out? Bear with me a second, lads. I've got a request from Jamie Powell. Bollocks! There you go. He just asked me to say bollocks. Okay, so, with, with Bo if, Bo if Bond's out in the next month, which I'm sure it is, they won't hold it back that late to Christmas. It'll be out in September, won't it? Yeah. You know what you'll get Christmas? You'll get extended Lord of the Rings. 4K. Yeah, you probably right. Yeah. Christmas. Extended Lord of the Rings. No, no but you've already got that. No, but did, there's not. Isn't there another cut? Another one though. They're doing a one with the Blu-ray and the big Middle Earth with the Hobbit put together kind of set, aren't they? Or you, you'll you'll get one of the you get you get the Marvel films, didn't you? The ones that are coming out. Shang Chi, yeah. whatever. Sorry, sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Shang Chi will be what, Christmas, that, mate. That Shang Chi, the first trailer, I wasn't that bothered about. The second trailer, I'm really interested in it now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the second trailer's a lot better. I think the neon this reminds me of um for Ragnarok, doesn't it? I yeah, I, th I think it also for me a bit like Guardians is, is is a character which I've never heard of. Like the I think all of them that are coming out now I've never heard of. Like Eternals, I haven't heard of Shang Chi, I've never heard of. But then again, the I'm Eternals not is, um, I think one of the Eternals is Thanos is his dad or mum, mum or dad. I'm sure of it. I could be wrong. Probably going to be Jolly, isn't it? Yeah, there's, 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 I've seen a photo of like a teenage Thanos. It's to do with the Eternals. It'd be the one with the purple dick, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Paulie said that he's a uh, long day guy. Uh, he was really small to pass out. Yeah, that's no bother. No problem at all. The invite was there. Uh, he is doing a, a really good, another video to do with Fast and Furious on Tuesday, which maybe I will appear on. <laughs> with the big F9 the... button. Fucking F9. Yeah, James but Three Kings, awesome film, Tears of the Sun, uh, very underrated war films, yeah. Uh, we'll be watching Sensor after watching the same movie of Worms review earlier. Have any of you guys seen it? No, but I have got it to watch. Have you watched it yet, Rob? Yes. Okay. It's good, it's good. It, it's have very very that one, Tony? I have not heard of that one, no. I'll it's send you a link to film. <laughs> yeah, if you, if you if there's any films that you want, if you stay in our group, just drop Rob a message and and he'll kindly oblige. Go <laughs> abroad. Uh, no. Are you watching anything late tonight? Uh, no, I think I'll probably go to bed after this stream. To be honest with you, there, James. Um, I did start like you say that. Um, was it the Super Deep? Um, it's 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 a strange one. It's um, it's got it's got alien vibes to it and dead space vibes, but it's quite boring. But stick at it. I've seen that Jesus Christ yet. Oh, of what course. The you hell? What the hell? Jesus, what's it called? Jesus Christ. Vampire hunter. Vampire hunter. <laughs> Would you ever know the ask kicking vicar in Brain Dead? I'll kick ass for the Lord. <laughs> I kick ass for the Lord. Yeah. Was it was it a Velocipasta? Was a movie? Was a movie see, as well? see, that's oh, it. Brain, God, brain, yeah, dead, brain dead. Brain dead. Bad taste. Get them 4K. Well, he's supposed to be doing that with front. Is a trilogy box set, isn't he? But it's just getting around. The getting around. So meet yeah. the feebles as well. Yeah, uh, bad taste, feebles, brain dead. Meet the feebles. Yeah. Great trilogy there. And no one knows well, the director of it. All film buffs know, but. What? Yeah. You know, what? Um. Have you heard of those, Tony? No, actually. Well, you don't know bad taste. What was that, sorry? You don't know bad taste at all? I've heard of it. I've never seen it. Trust me, Peter, Jackson. Jackson. Peter Jackson's first three films. Yeah, and, and he was in it. He was he was Derek, wasn't he? But Brain Dead's not called Brando. It's called Dead or Alive, isn't it? 
Yes, dead uh, it's called Dead or Alive over here. And meet the Feebles, a war shag and a cat, it just don't get better. Yeah, so m- m- Muppets, Muppets, adult Muppets. Yeah. It worked 20 years ago. It don't work now, but it worked. No. I mean, you got a, a, lo- a lovelorn hippo with an M60. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love that shit. So, um, what I'll do, because I'm going to get through one for another nine, ten minutes, because I want to go to bed, because I've been up like you, pretty early doors. Um, I'm just going to go down the bottom of these, see if I can get... Um... Yeah, apparently, Rob is a boss. He just needs to get his own stream. Is that your missus, Rob? No, I don't even know who this person is, honestly. <laughs> but, but Rob, why Rob, are you called Rob Fest Uh... Um, my name's Rob. It was going to be Rob the Best Prime, and I've got a bounty of stuff to share to everyone. And I like bounties to chocolate, so and it's and because, I'll, it, yeah. because of Boba Fett. Yeah, it's kind of maybe a bit Boba Fett as well. Of yeah. course, it is. I just call him Rob the Knob. That's it, Rob the Knob works. <laughs> Rob with the big thanks. Uh, well, uh, Doctor Who needs a new writer. See, I'm not even. I used to watch Doctor Who it, back in the day. Now I just, I, I don't know. I just, this lost its shine of it. It's too. I wouldn't say crap because it's got a big following. Don't say crap. It's just low budget for me. It's just your typical. See, maybe, maybe it needs films. Maybe it needs needs a couple of films rather than keep doing these series. They did a film, didn't they, back in the day that was all right. I, I always remembered. Well, wasn't, yeah. Obviously, they did. They, 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 mm-hmm. They did a film of it. I know they did that, but wasn't Love there rumours that. that Steven Spielberg was going to direct it at one time? I'm sure. I think that's the same rumour that said Tarantino was doing a Star Trek. Probably, yeah. Um, who would you want as the next Bond? We've had this before, and I've always said Idris Elba every time. I want Rob as the next Bond. <laughs> I think Henry yeah, Cavill actually, could be good, maybe. Yeah. yeah. He's got the uh, suave, upper class kind of. Persona for it, yeah. Yeah, that would I think he'd do, he'd, do, he'd do a better Jack Ryan, is it, or Jack Reacher, Henry Cavill? One of them, so I should be a lot bigger than <laughs> one of the cruise roles, and he should be bigger than he is. I think Jack it's Reacher. Reacher should be taller than what he is. Yeah, yeah Jack, Jack Reacher, Henry, Henry Cavill was Reacher. See, for for any, and he's like a foot shorter. Oh, there's another short thing here. It says, Pete, have you got the Willy Wonka still book? Well, he'll show it to you now, James. He showed it at the beginning of the stream. There it is. Oh, Willy Wonka is a bit, bit of a. So tell yeah. me another pedo film, right? Yep. No mention of ET yet. Well, it's fun enough. We've just come on to that. <laughs> Tony, you'll love it. You'll love uh, Rob's explanation of ET is a pedo. Yeah. Oh, I think we'll we ruin ET for you. I'll let him investigate right. old videos rather than go into why, because I keep mentioning every video. So I'm not going to yeah. go on a good affair. Yeah, let's, let's not turn this from the magpie and bullet and sing live stream to... Let's let it go. This is the evidence for why E.T. is a pedophile. Yeah, we'll leave it. <laughs> yeah, so do Doctor Who needs you write it more than anything. Yeah. Say anything, Pete. <laughs> is that what it was before? Yeah. He went bollocks. John Cusack. Have you seen one... Elmore's Fire? Uh, yeah. Is that best of us I haven't? Is that is that is that oh. the guy from um, Sesame Street? Yeah. <laughs> oh well, yes. Tickle me on my. What's your thoughts on Matt Hancock having up with his assistant? I don't know. Don't really care. Nothing to do with me. It's a tiny one. Don't know who that is. It's, yeah. Exactly. It's not really it's the guy controls the over here has basically gone and shagged one of his aides, and he's married. Oh. So, you know, all his social distancing, and he got caught so on camera in the office, yeah. So now he's finally quit. He's caused the death of thousands of old people in care homes over here because he got them sent back from hospital without being tested for COVID. And oh. thousands more died in care homes because he fucked up, and he done not admit to shit, and he's a wanker. Oh, well. <laughs> That's kind of dick as we deal with over here. <laughs> what was that, Rob? <laughs> Yeah, that's Matt Hancock at the job centre on Monday. <laughs> Such a dipshit. Um, Top Gun is a great soundtrack. Mr. Pye should know by now. Uh, yeah. Rapid Fire, have you seen that one? Brandon Lee film? Brandon Lee, yeah. Quality, quality film, Rapid Fire. I haven't seen it. 
haven't even heard of it, to be honest. It's got to be said, I've only picked it up a couple of days ago, but yeah. <laughs> it's really good. See, but cool. I only remember him from Rapid Fire and The Crow. I can't think of anything else he was in. What's seven quid on Amazon? I've got a speed. I've got... Uh, <coughs> sorry. Um, one minute, I can yeah. sit listening to John Williams scores all day. Get in here, you fucker. I used to drive around with the Metal Gear Solid soundtrack on, which is a bit... Oh, I picked up the uh, pop art of uh, Zombieland as well. I always like that cover. That is cool. I've never seen that before. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. That's six quid I got that for. Um, I'll quickly go through these before we... Uh, oh, so Sorry if I missed your question now. Oh, here we go. Rob, any spare medicine or brewery have for sale? We'll be interested in it. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're, they're going to Pete and they'll see what uh, Pete's going to do a giveaway yeah on it, Is it I've got one here Look. we're going to do a 10 stage giveaway the thing about our group Tony yeah, is if you say you hate a film the group will send you 30 copies of it oh okay. Tony, you hate do, you, do, you like, do you like Midsummer, Tony I do you yes see? <laughs> okay you see I love Midsummer, <laughs> and to be fair who, who was it who watched it the other day was it Oh, it's Jason, our friend Jason, Jason. Which is he enjoyed it. Uh, the only people who don't like it, I think, is, is you. Well, actually, the only person. Is me. Been no, 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 there, is, there, is, there, oh, there is an army I'm creating of haters. Is there? Who else is there? I think Fast and Furious 9 is better than Midsummer. Get out. I, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking. I, I, just, I just think it's a bit pretentious and overly long. And I, I, I was, I was so, I so, it was hyped up so much for me. And it, I, it didn't do it for me, but that's that's film, isn't it? It's it's we're not all gonna like stuff. I di I didn't like us, you know, but I like I like get out, you know, it's, it's different for each person. Yeah, exactly. That's true. Yeah. I, I didn't like I didn't like Gladiator. I was Gladiator a couple days ago. I thought it was rubbish. So anyway, so <laughs> you <laughs> obviously <laughs> right. How do you do that? <laughs> I'm only <already> joking. <laughs> No, I did. I did watch that. Uh, and it's just really, it's very, good. it's very, very good. I told you, yeah. You knew I'd do that, though. Um, oh, it's just straight, straight, to, straight to video, wasn't it? What? Glad it, glad it. Straight to video. Shut up, man. <laughs> I can easily kick you out again. And then, then, then obviously, then you have to stop replying by typing in on the. And then you lose, and lose another ten, lose another ten watches. Yeah, exactly. Oh my god. Um, uh, what's your favorite horror movie? Uh, the original Halloween and Scream are a couple of my favorites. Good shout. Very good shout. Yeah. Favorite horror? See, um, I'm, I'm, I'm Evil Dead. Evil Dead and uh, Cabin in the Woods, I really like as well as the modern one. Yeah. Alien. Which is the one where there is parasites in the water supply? Don Donnie Wahlberg. Ca cabin Fever. Cabin that's, Fever. Yeah. That was one of my favourites. That surprised me. Donnie Wahlberg, I didn't, is he? Donnie Wahlberg. Is it? Yeah, he's the bold one with the weird voice. No, 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 no. He's not a Cabin Fever. Tyler, oh, Ryder Strong from Boy Meets World and um, a few casts of Buffy, I think, if I remember. Ooh. Eli Roth, Eli Roth one. No, nah, this is a different one. You think about The Bay? Nope. Okay, Slither. Let's see if I can find it. Ugh. Donnie Wahlberg. Evolution. Yeah, Donnie Wahlberg. Did, did you know Evolution was a, a supposed to be a sequel to Ghostbusters? Really? I watched a documentary a few nights ago. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it feels very like a Ghostbuster film, doesn't it? Yeah, I, I could see that. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. That mm. needs a 4K Evolution. So it's a different question, but mm, there's better films that can cook them out in 4K than that. Let's be honest. Tony, what do you feel about Hall how do you feel about Halloween season of witch? Do you like that as a horror film or n n not a good Halloween film? I don't mind it. I like it. It's just if you can get over, there's no Michael Myers. It's not bad. It's uh, interesting. Yeah. I don't mind it. I think they try to do that, like in Jason Goes to Hell. My Take the character out they did. and make you and make you miss him. So what you want you to come back in the uh, next film? It's Dreamcatcher I'm thinking of. Oh, it's Jason King Lee. One. That, Jason Lee one. But we're the yeah. thing in the toilet, isn't it? That's the film. Yeah. Man. 
Yes, good. It's a long film. Wouldn't say, it's a, horror, wouldn't say it's a horror film. It's more psychological, isn't it? Hmm. But the dream demons, only the dream things are bought. It's good. Yes, it's what, yeah. It follows. It's good. Strangers, I like that. Um, host. Oh, see, I'm a big, I'm a big critters fan, but I wouldn't say that was a, a, a serious horror film. You know, that needs a hard R, R rated film. Obviously, that's more of a comedy, monster, monster. I don't class monster flicks as horror films, or they are. Yeah, I suppose not. Um, right, what we've got here? Then? We'll quickly go through some more, and then I'll finish it off. Um, when's the next cast converters, Rob? Um, soon. Okay. I've got a few issues with that, but yeah, soon. What film scared you, Tony? <laughs> Apart from the stream tonight, obviously. The <laughs> um, American Whale for none. Mm. When I was younger, the first Nightmare on Elm Street scared me. Now it's mm. laughable. Um, yeah. <laughs> not a lot of stuff actually creeps me. I've seen you ever, ever watched. Ever what? All that time. No, I mean, actually, three was the first 18 I ever watched. Scared the piss out of me. Yeah. Yeah. That was the first one. I always remember me and my mate watching it, and we were both scared shitless. The best one. Back in the day. What scared me the most? Probably Insidious. Yeah. 12's difficult, yeah. Yeah. But it's not bad, this case, is it? Um. Tony Fester, is that is that friendly or Tony? That is um Susan's mother, actually. It's all. Oh! <laughs> it's normal blurry. Just throw it to my channel. Hi, Bonnie. Right? Hello. Thanks for coming on. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Yes, because she took to my channel, work. and I was just there. I was like, "Who's this?" And she's like, "Oh, I'm my mom." I'm like, "That's right." Yes, hello. Apologies for for forgetting who you are, Bonnie. So thanks for coming on. Appreciate it. Um, let's go. Right. Is anyone excited for the new Suicide Squad movie? Um, I'd look forward yeah. to seeing it, but I wouldn't say I'm excited. Yeah, it's the whole. I'm looking forward to the John Cena spin-off they're doing. Oh, the character in the spin-off show. They're doing a spin-off show. Yeah, he's supposed to be a lot darker than he is. He's supposed to be a right bastard. Yes, that's right. Because isn't, isn't there pictures of him like in a caravan or something? Yeah, with the director name. I just think the whole. I thought the whole starfish thing was a joke, but then the bad guy in that they mentions a starfish, didn't they? So it's like. The the creature's a bit weird, but um, I'm looking forward to King Shark. King Shark, I'm looking forward to. That's yeah. the rest of the yeah. Lands voice, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's got a real gu Guardians feel, although it's made by Guardians guy. I think it's going to... It's not going to... See, I prefer DC to Marvel. Not that it's a better series. I like the darker side of it. And this, we know it feels like a Suicide Squad film. No, sorry. A, a, a Guardians film, sorry. So I'm looking forward to it. I think it'd be good. That is true. Uh, yeah, but then Bonnie says hi. So hello to Bonnie. Hello to Sue's mother. That's it. But with that, and it being 25 to 11 over here, and I'm at work tomorrow, and Rob just got in from work, and Bonnie has the rest of his lovely evening to look forward to, and Pete's going to do whatever Pete's going to do. I would think I'm going <laughs> to... <laughs> End the live stream there. So I hope you just like say thank see you. It. Again. <laughs> Love you all. You. Thank you. Thank you getting Tony for coming on. I appreciate it. Uh, thank you for having me on. Thank you for having me on. Apologies for not, not, not doing it earlier. Sorry. Um, I was going to say, so yeah, so yeah, everybody subscribe to Tony's channel. And when you are, he'll be on his stream at 9.30 our time next Saturday. Uh, with himself, Movies and Sue, Dave Durant and Ravanda or Slayer Review. So check his channel out then as well cool. as that. Um, we'll be, be back doing our live streams in August, hopefully the first one in Birmingham. And then Rob and I will be doing our spin-off hour long if that series, probably Wednesday this week, if I can be bothered. And if Rob's not working, um, Obviously, of course, your man over here will be doing this video tomorrow through his Facebook during the week and his giveaways on Friday. Uh, and hopefully, Tony will be doing another video. I can't get my finger there. Tony will be doing his video on Tuesday after his pickups. Is that right? Yes. Yep. So, Tuesday. So, um, anything here? Uh, great stream, guys. Nice to meet you, Tony. 
Um, you too. And that's it. So thank you very much, everybody, for watching. Um, we shall see you on our next video. Thanks to everybody who stayed with us and watched the live streams every week. Thanks to everybody who's come on. Um, I'd like to take this Oscar for the best live stream of 20... No, I'm joking. Um, thanks to Pete for just starting the live streams. Thanks to Rob for joining the live streams. And we're going to end it here with Tony. And that's it. So thanks Bye. for watching, guys. And we shall see you Thank on the you. next one. See you in a month.